Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Ecom 101, buying, selling, finances, and coffee for another edition of our Inside the Reseller Community Chat. Wednesday at 6. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Joey Ruffalo from JR Financial Coaching and JR Financial Coach on Instagram. And joining me always is my awesome co host, Robin. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing? You can find me too. Joey's got the links down below. It's under robin.yednock.haas. I know it's a mouthful, but so am I. So Everything is there. <laughs> yeah, everything will be in the links below. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell. If you want to get notified when we go live, it's usually it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 p.m. right now. Sorry for a little hiccup at the beginning there. When I share my screen. Oh, I, I thought you were doing hiccup like you had oh, something to drink. No, when I share my screen, I have to hit the audio button to allow the audio sound to play. And I. I forgot if I did that or not, so I just started the intro over again. It's just, oh, I see. I got you. Yeah. When I when I put it up as a podcast later, I will just cut that part out. I thought maybe you were having a little cocktail. <laughs> no. I do have my coffee, though, which is awesome. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Oh, and I got to tell you, Joey, look, I, though I have my straw in, they, Dutch Brothers brought the new sippy cup in. Okay. So we don't have to have paper straws anymore. Sweet. Yay. That's awesome. So I'm actually having something that you might actually like. It is the it's sugar free though, uh, mafia style. Okay. So I'll say what it is. It's a large iced mafia style, uh, sugar free German chocolate cake mm. latte or mocha. Super okay. yummy. It's really, really good. good. It is really good. and iced, obviously. So you can get it hot, iced, or blended. Hot, iced, or oh my blended. gosh! Hi everybody! Hi Ellen and Sherry from Tennessee. Hey Noxy Knox. Our rad mod is in there. Nice to see her. Oh, and the Robin. It spells her name like moi. Her other awesome mod, Marie. Oh, I love that little bunny foo foo. I love that. Little hopping, bunny foo foo. Hopping <laughs> through the forest. Just don't run up against Sasquatch. He might eat you. Oh, no kidding. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. It's raining it was, in Tennessee. Huh? It was funny. Sasquatch was in a chat earlier. I think it was uh, in Robin Lisa's. A couple oh, yeah. pickers. He was over there with another one called, I think it was Thrifty Turtle, was the other name. And oh, they, very cool. They chatted back to back, so it's a Sasquatch and Turtle. So I made a joke like, Sasquatch and a turtle walk into a bar. <laughs> and Sasquatch wrote back, he said, um, that would mean something, something like to the effect of, that would mean turtle soup or something. <laughs> so he's always exactly. he's a character, that guy. Exactly. Or girl. I love, oh, and our <laughs> other mod, Marie's in there too. Hi, Marie. Yes, Marie's awesome. Uh, we've got Ken Skeets is here from in oh Melbourne. Oh hey. Melbourne, nice. What's twenty two Celsius? I have to look at my phone. I don't know yeah, what that is. We're in America, so we do Fahrenheit. Sorry. <laughs> I have to do a conversion. <laughs> we have to do a conversion. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's so nice it's to see everybody. Nice and warm, I would imagine, because zero. I know zero degrees Celsius is freezing, and hundred right. degrees Celsius is boiling. So somewhere okay, in the middle. Okay, that's good. So somewhere in the middle, Joey. Yeah. Good, good. It's our weather report now from today. Yeah. There you go. It was super windy today. 20 people in here so far. We'll give it a couple more seconds while we catch up. Yeah. But thank you. Also wanted to thank everybody for joining, uh, checking out the video we dropped yesterday with Liz Austin uh, from eBay. Uh, I'm talking was about that eBay fun, Joey? That yeah, was a that fun was a interview. Fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's on there now. It's up there. It's up yeah. there as a podcast, just too, if you want to listen to it. She talks all about eBay up front and the new things that are going on and the seller events that they're having throughout the year. It was fun having her. And well, it was. Any, she's she's yeah, great. If you and have any I more questions in, about it, just go ahead yep, and go ahead. Sorry, if you have any more questions that you want us to ask her, uh, yeah. comment in that uh, in the, below that video or if you're in the Facebook group, um, comment in there and we're probably going to have her back in a couple weeks for a little bit longer of an episode and we'll really dive deep into the questions especially after that first event which is like yeah February yeah, yeah, yeah. 27th in Tampa yeah and then um just to say just a little shout out for her again for Liz again and Marnie who is Lisa, uh, Liz's boss mm -hmm. um I popped in our Facebook on Ecom 101 Facebook I popped in the actual live interview that was happening at the retail revival yes, yes. that was awesome and which was talking to brick and mortars uh mm -hmm. places so that was kind of fun um, that was happening in Austin. I know it says Liz Austin, but that is her name while she's in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, we got a lot of feedback on that, too, from a lot of the eBay execs because they love the fact that we were helping promote that. So, yeah, it was, it was so if fun. you guys could, you know, go and do some feedback on that video, too, that's mm -hmm. great. And definitely a um, couple of pictures, Rob and Lisa, when you guys, uh, after your event at the end of February, we'd love to have you on to talk about it. And oh, yeah. Kind of put it all together because I think you guys are going to the Tampa one. 
Nice. Are you guys fun. really? Oh, that's cool. I, for some reason, I had you in the middle of the of the United States, but maybe you guys are close to Florida. Okay. They're, they're in Florida, yeah. That's awesome. I love Florida. Florida is so, Florida's so pretty sweet. Cool. Mm-hmm. Florida's cool. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love so it. I guess I we should it. get to our guest. Yes, please. Let's please. Let's talk to Liz. So we yesterday, no, yesterday, Monday's chat, we ended up with a lot of Daves and... <laughs> Toms and Jims and Sally's and whoever else yes. in the chat. And now yesterday we interviewed Liz, and now we have another Liz on today. So it's the day of the Liz's. You guys may know her from a previous episode we did back in January. And no, January, it's already February. Wow. I was going to uh, say, wait, yeah. December. I think it was right. beginning of December. And yes. then at the end of December, she was back on a seller round table. And honestly, like, everybody's like, when are you having Liz back? When are you having Liz back? We want to talk to Liz. We want to see Liz. And Liz drinks some wine with us. It's fun. <laughs> So, bring back our friend Liz O'Kane from Colorado, who's going to join us, and we're going to do a nice conversation. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll just highlight her. Why not? Because, you know, some things in. have changed, and, you know, yeah, yeah. bring her in. Liz. <laughs> there oh, she Liz, is. Liz, how you doing? I had you <laughs> muted for a second. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> like oh, yeah. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Sorry to disappoint. I'm not the Liz. Uh-huh. I'm Liz. Oh, you're, you're the Liz. I'm, I'm <laughs> coming Liz. after the Liz, but that's okay. I absolutely you're... adore Liz Austin. I listen to her on the podcast. I love watching her um, on the lo- on the stream that you guys did the other day. Thank you. Yeah, I loved it. Good, good. Yeah, we do have a Dave back in the chat. So, Somebody hey, Dave. Said, Hopefully I Liz see has Tommy some too. Wine. I know. I see Tommy. Tommy's like, hopefully Liz has some wine. Liz always has wine. That's a given. Except for you're drinking white wine because you I usually am. drink red. I normally do. Oh, my. What is happening? What's happening? So, this is because it's um, – uh, so yesterday was um, Cancer Awareness Day. Okay. And yes. I'm drinking a wine that's specific to the um, American Brain Cancer a brain tumor society. It's a Sweet. charity of wine. So Yay. I figured I would do that this week. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I love it. For somebody and it's who's great. dealing with cancer, I think it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Stuff, so yeah. yeah, so tell us, give us a little critique on it. Is it good? Is the flavor? What's the palate like? It's delicious. It's just a Pinot Grigio from Italy, uh, <laughs> bottled ooh. in New York. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. So it's nice. It's crisp. It's refreshing. Good. So it's from I love Italy. <laughs> It's from Italy, bottled in New York, drunk in Colorado. Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> there you go. It's perfect. There so we go. have uh, a couple people in the chat already saying, Little Reb saying hi from Colorado, too. Wait, who did? Oh, hey. I know who that is. Uh-huh. Oh, yay. And then Tracy's saying, I like Liz a lot with a little I wine like glass. I like you, too. Oh. We Dave. all do. I, there's actually nobody that I don't like a lot. Wine down, down Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it, I'm writing it down. You've got it. That's amaze balls. <laughs> actually, you know what? I was thinking on your Instagram, Liz, you could do something like that—a wine down and actually uh, showcase one of your wines that you like. Ah, uh, yeah, because that'll be new every week. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. That would be kind of fun. I think that's great. Good job, yeah. whoever put that up. Yeah. I think Liz would would be a good ga- a Trace and I after a bottle. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> I have my chocolate I'm wine. That's all I have. Those are good, too. I do, I do <laughs> rum. If anybody wants to do rum, I'm in. Because I do a mean zombie and mean Mai Tai. So if anybody wants... And a painkiller, too. So I love it. I love I'll be it. in for it. that, too. You teach me. I will. I, you know, you good rum, rum is... is all right. They're yummy. Well, this is, this I love is it. going great. <laughs> I know. I love it. Well, let's, let's Perfect. just jump in. So yeah, Liz, so, catch us up. Ahead. Like, what's been happening with you since we've haven't since we haven't talked to you since December? Like, is there anything new? Wait, let me ask you. Did you sell your uh, your animal print shoes yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Whoa, <laughs> Again. <laughs> yes, I did, and I think that I actually that's probably we have them. later today, <laughs> later in the show. Yes. Um, nice. So actually, yeah, yes. no, I... Go ahead. Sorry, I, I was going to say. So first, actually, if you want to just give us a little recap about. Um, who who you are? Who is Liz O'Kane? Liz O'Kane. What you see yeah. is what you get. This is yeah. Liz. Yeah. <laughs> no. I love it. <laughs> right, it's the best way. Um, so no, I'm Liz. I've been I'm a part time seller for the last eighteen years. 
on eBay, started in 2002, mm-hmm. um, went full time a little over three years ago when I retired from the Air Force after 23 years. Um, you know, through that last year, trying to figure out, okay, well, I knew I was going to retire. What am I going to do? Started applying for jobs. And I'm like, why am I applying for jobs when I have a really cool side gig that I have friends that do this full time? So I went ahead and decided to go full time. And my gosh, if that wasn't the best decision I ever made. Um, and really, that's it. I, some of you guys probably know me from the eBay community if you're on there, um, on and off. I know mm-hmm. I haven't met all of you in person. I would love to. It seems like every group I become a part of, you guys started Ecom 101, came on, and I've met new people just from here, and it's awesome. I love it. It is. And your your episode that you were on, I was telling you earlier in the pre-show, I, was like, I mentioned it so many times in just casual conversation in our normal chats because the way you sort of planned to go full-time. I mean, you did. You obviously said you were playing for jobs. You kind of like well, let me just kind of, I'll do this. I have this here going, but you were selling all the time. You're selling on the side while you're still working. You put some money aside, you planned for it. And then when you went full time, you were able to do that. You didn't jump right in. Right. Yeah. So I took preparation. That planning was perfect. Yeah, it was. I took that entire last year and pretty much worked two full time jobs um, just to kind of see if I could do it, get that financial stability because retirement is kind of scary. Um, (laughs) Yeah whatever um so (laughs) I knew that you know I couldn't just quit you know retire and then nothing thank you um so yeah so I spent that whole last year active duty also coming home and on the weekends just kind of hustling as much as I could and Mm -hmm. I was by the last couple months I was pulling a full-time income um, on a, on awesome. a part time, I mean, I was working full time. Don't get me wrong, um, yeah. <laughs> but it was great stability, great planning, and it's something that I tell everybody. You know, if you're looking for a change, test it out. I mean, it, it, you really have to hustle. You really. Yeah. Have to. I don't hustle as hard anymore. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I should. <laughs> some hey, days, but be transparent. Be because you know what? I I have to say, there's people that I follow that I always think like, man, if they could just be transparent, then they would really be more authentic in that sense and you know I got to be really honest also being someone of service it is hard especially when you get out of you've been you were in way longer than me and so I'm I'm really glad to hear that you were prepping before you actually got out because I didn't I was just a young whippersnapper getting out and to be thrown into civvy world after military world is a whole I'm about to a a whole new world yes it (laughs) it is it really is (laughs) It really so is. So it's nice to hear. I like that because this is what this show is about. It's all about prepping you for your financial, you know, woes and ups and downs. And if we can help you along the way, that's what we want to do. So it's nice to hear. And obviously you're doing well yeah. because, you know. Yeah. Well, if you you're not, see, I don't see me on you Instagram. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> on Instagram, sometimes I'll use a, you know, hashtag lazy hustler. You know, hustle, hey, I, but you know not what? all the time. It's I true. It. I, you me. know, I just came back from yeah. Disneyland. And so I'm feeling like that a little bit. I should be using hashtag lazy. I have to get my stuff together, you guys. I've got inventory. Uh oh, Liz. Oh, she maybe she just it it. She'll come back. She'll come back. I'm sure she awesome. will. Yeah, that's she's, like whoop. She's, she's a lazy. She you know what? She's a lazy hustler. She's a lazy guest. Yeah. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> she went Perfect. to go get another wine. It's oh, funny. sorry. Trying to come back in. Okay. Okay, good. No I think it's her internet. Sometimes it, I feel that, you know, everybody in the, Yeah, no worries. No worries, Liz. No worries. Uh, I'll say that same joke when she pops back in, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I feel like, you know, when we had Sherry Smith on, she's also mm-hmm. up in uh, Colorado, their internet sometimes comes and goes because those mountains, you it's know. It's the what wild, I mean? wild west over there. It really is, kind of, yeah. So, but I have to get what I was going back to. Uh, I have to hustle. I have a garage that I got to get organized. There she is. There she is. I was saying, you know, you're a lazy hustler. You're lazy in the in the chat here. I know. <laughs> I know. Just I'm done. I guess. Yeah. Short like interview. A dramatic exit. Yeah, just go watch dramatic. the other one she was on. She's done, guys. Yeah, she's like, well, I lost the chat, and I was trying to look for the chat. It just went blank on my end. I don't, I don't know. know what I did. I don't know. I, I, don't, I probably pushed something. No, trust me, it was probably me. I'm actually I'm trying to follow along on the chat on my phone here. So oh, that's if you idea. see me like looking down, yeah. So. yeah, and that's always like a couple seconds ahead of where we are. Like yeah. in, in the room, we're behind, but our audio and video is behind on the on the 
YouTube, yes. but the chat is caught up, so we're kind of yeah. funky. We're live here, but we're live in the chat on the f on Yeah, the phone. so like our mods will know more than us sometimes, and so Joey and I are answering something that's what we think is current, and actually it's like old hat. Like we're yeah. like, oh, oh, okay. So yeah, it's funny. But anyway, yeah, I, it was just a dramatic pause. That's all it was. You were just That's all. Dramatic. Yeah, you know, I had to hey. throw something in there. We can't know, just have it like, smooth, Whoop. right? <laughs> that's not how I do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yeah, that's what's been going on. And we did December, and in January, I actually went to a wedding in Oregon. Ooh, fun. And then came home and. You know, it's always hard to pick back up after you've been gone like five-ish days. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yes. No doubt. Now, I will ask you another question. Um, Robin, I mentioned putting your, you know, your wine stuff up on Instagram, but I think you have another pretty awesome star of your Instagram profile, and that's your dogs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How are they doing? <laughs> they're they're doing okay. They're doing okay. For those that don't know, I uh, this fall, one of my I was out of town, and one of my dogs kind of went downhill really fast he's about 12 and we've had him since he was a pup um best known guess is meningitis and meningitis. Just headed it up. <laughs> meningitis yeah so oh. sometimes he kind of walks around like a drunk old man hitting the cabinets but he's here oh. and he's cognizant some days are better than others but he's doing I really well you. and okay yeah. okay my other bratty girl she's we got her when bratty she was like girl. five. Oh my god we, her name is Kenai because the people that had her before us um, fell in love in Kenai, Alaska. Aww. So they named her Kenai. And it's Aww. fitting. Um, if I were to change your name, it would be Angelica from the Rugrats. You know, the bratty oh, big yeah, red-headed yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's her to a T. Um, she's been it. having liver problems. She's been having a lot of arthritis problems, but it doesn't slow her down. It's we're just aging together i don't know yes I, oh my god I that take like my me. motrin they take their <laughs> motrin we just, it's I'm like just it's, gonna say yeah, you awesome. know i've i look at my pillboxes and i'm like dang i'm getting old i've got <laughs> you know arthritis and sinus problems and but now my dogs actually have pillboxes with like am and pm <laughs> say, and, do you have so your own and and uh -huh. yeah so everybody has their own pillbox with their names in the house. <laughs> i love it I oh love my gosh it. we're just getting old together yeah. um Oh yeah. God. So, but no, they're doing good. They're actually, they were running around down. My son's in the other room. We, mm -hmm. uh, so this room is a bedroom in our basement. Um, we're just very fortunate. Colorado, most of the houses have basements. Um, and our, so we have a smaller, uh, living room in our basement and my, uh, son so we've been here about six years he's 17 I was like oh he's like that, I want that to be my boy cave I'm like you wanted a man he's like I'm not a man I'm a boy right so yeah. that's his I gaming room he's like mom but my friends and I are gaming what if I'm too loud I'm like so what I don't so but the dogs were down there barking at him a little bit ago oh, I was man. like dude that's funny <laughs> yeah now I have a quick question for you as well I'm looking to your left is that a like a picture studio yeah, let me see. The, okay. Yeah, this... Oops. Oh, that's right. I lost a lot. Oops. Yeah, so that's the big photo booth. Oh, that's awesome. Um, That is rad. Yeah, I, it's called the Glow Box, and they only come up every once in a while. When I first mm -hmm. started looking, I think they were like 500 bucks, and they were recently on sale for like 160 bucks. Oh, wow. Something yeah. like that, and they sold out. Um, I think on my Instagram and my link tree, I have a link to them, so when they come back... People can get them. There, it was the best investment ever. I don't. That's cool. I'm sorry, I lost my light. Oh. Oh well, that's probably better. Everybody, that, that's probably better. <laughs> oh, Liz, you're so funny. If you want to get your light, like, get your light. But how do you Forget light your light box? Is it lit in? I mean, like, is it on the sides or do you? So have to put... it has. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to make you move again, but. No, it's fine. This is just on my. So right. Let me see. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, I'm not good at this. And then yeah, I know it's hard. Joy, Holy cow! The right there. <laughs> so there's LED light strips oh, on both sides, dang. and then on the top. So it reflects in. There's like a really hard um, plastic backdrop that Got hangs you. down and comes in. Okay. And you can kind of see your feet. Um, I have a I mannequin. Kind of see the mannequin. Yeah, I kind of. So see I have a. Um, my husband bit me a really big. Um, lazy susan so i can yeah, just tick perfect. my foot and move her yeah, around her. um yeah That's but rad. following along with the lazy hustler thing um i've been doing all flat lace <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, hey, listen, because we do I only picked her up because she was naked and behind me and i was like oh i should probably put her away 
<laughs> so I spared you guys looking at a naked Manny butt. Oh, I don't know. Which, that might actually if you guys be, are uh... watching, you probably see them all the time anyways. So Yes, yes, yes. Apparently there's some chats where there's actually really naked butts rolling around too. We've learned, <laughs> we've learned that the other day. Oh my. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, all right. <laughs> I love it. Well, I use, we do the flat lay too. We do flat lay and then we also do the two ring light situation. Yeah. And then we do the man and then we do the mannequin once in a while, but I got to tell you flat lay is kind of where it's at right now for us. Cause... You know, I ha I'm just going to mm, wow. Oh, there you go. I like the light. So it's like a little baby okay, I'm not even yeah, like a It's baby like one of those light. little baby yeah. ring lights, yeah. Cuz yeah. it's so I'm in the basement. It's so dark in here. I know it's um, like it really is like a cave. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh but yeah, I've just been doing a lot of flat lays just mm -hmm. I've kind of been avoiding women's clothes. I get, like, hey, you know, I we kind you. of go through our cycle, mm -hmm. and I'm like, eh, I need yeah. a break from clothing. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of felt that way too after I got my five back to back returned. I was like, I'm out, I'm done. I'm just, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not though. I'm not. I mean, I'm just. It's one of those weird, fluky things. I'm sure, and I'm I'm starting to come back into the role of things, but I have changed some things. But flat lay is kind of easy. Um, yeah. Just, to get those photos you know like I'm trying to get my um the next thing I'm trying to do is like tam time management and get yeah. my because I'm usually so picky on the photos and then Jimmy does the photos and he works five to six days a week sometimes double shifts so I don't always get them so I kind of have to like figure this out so yeah uh, I'll tell you with this light box it I so what I use because I have an iPhone I use an app called ProCam and I can adjust oh, yeah. my white balance okay. yeah um and pretty much I just take my picture and then I just upload it to a blank draft right so they're all done and then I sit down and just list from my computer and sometimes I'll just do the contrast right from the eBay right, right. website and then I just go from there I've gotten a lot less picky over the years <laughs> Yeah, me too. And that's yeah. why I like yeah. the double ring light because I don't have to edit. It's just yeah. boom, boom. That's awesome. You know, but I did, I did learn something though, Liz, just to share it with you because you do hard goods like me. Yeah. Is the hand blown, I had a hand blown glass bowl, right? And I thought I did a really good job. Brian looks at it and says, Robin, this could be a not as described. And what he was showing me in, on the first photo is the actual, there was two white rings, very, very faint, but still enough. And yeah. he said, the person who buys it could think that it was a decoration. And I thought, oh my God. So now I have to like make sure I mark that in the thing too. But I thought, I mean, it's good to have other eyes on your pictures because I didn't even think that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So and, I, and what's so funny is that after I talked about it, touched it, and did all that, it sold the very next day. Oh. So I'm hoping, knock on wood, that everything's fine. <laughs> wow. But you know, Fingers yeah, right. I, yeah. Joey's in the coffee shop. Has the black figure entered? Stop it! Whoever stop Wait, right? Sasquatch is in there. <laughs> There's this running joke, Liz. Oh, okay, uh, so yeah, Joey... I didn't get that one. Okay. Okay, so the running joke is that Joey likes horror movies, and so does his wife, right? Okay, maybe you don't, but his wife does. Yeah. She watches some really scary stuff. And this one particular night was, uh, I don't even know what we were talking about. The, the chat had went rogue, and we were talking about movies and something. And anyway, we come back on the our normal day, like it was a Friday or Wednesday, I forget. And I did, I was down looking and writing notes for the show and stuff. And I have my headset on all the time because I'm waiting for Joey to come in. <laughs> and I didn't realize he was already in. And so then he starts whispering in the headset. And of course I'm thinking he's not in because his face is not up. And so I'm thinking, so I'm listening. And then I finally get that spooky feeling like somebody's like behind you. Yeah, see? And so I immediately throw my headset off and turn to look. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, then the mods, the mods always give me grief, and now, <laughs> now the people in the chat always say, "Robin, who's behind you?" And yeah. I, I they oh my gosh, it's all about ghosts see. and stuff, and it's like there's a shot. That yeah. would have been even funnier because I almost what pointed earlier and been like, "Oh, is that?" Because your dog, yeah, you would have Condi me out. went back behind you. Yeah. I was like, Aw. Yes. Sometimes, yeah, I'll, sometimes she... I get really close to the camera and I was like, "Look," and I'm like, she's like, "What are you looking?" I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know what your dog's looking at. It's something." I know, he did the thing at their time, and it really <laughs> freaked me out. Like, see, I can see her butt right there. I can see yeah. her butt right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. She always does that, like, yeah. But anyway, so that's the joke. Aww. That's the running joke. Yeah. The chat always gives me grief, so. Oh, so. what is that? <laughs> yeah, what's that? Oh, you can see it, you. too. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I forget okay. that, you know, I can see, duh, I can see the doorway. Like, duh. Like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> so it looks like we have a couple of new people joining us. Um, just say hello to Do again. Sasquatch is here. Hey, we talked about Sasquatch, Sasquatch is earlier. In the house. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we mentioned you earlier. You and Turtle having turtle soup. You're hearing. You uh, like your ears were burning. Sasquatch. I know. We have uh, <laughs> Vicky's here. Hey, Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Vicky's in the house. Vicky. Oh, yay! Hey. hey. I love okay. it. Oh. Uh, Tommy says ProCam Seven is the bomb. Yeah, I just Pro found. Cam I just started using bomb. my. Um, phone just a couple months ago oh you mean take photos you mean your oh phone? yeah your i was mm-hmm. old school sd card stick it in the computer okay. upload it process it yeah i got yeah. with the time wait what, what, what's your phone liz is it like mine's a, a, i like iphone 7 the 11 pro oh you have a it's, new one. Oh, get out of here go bigger go out home <laughs> get out of here i'm too cheap that's my problem I, you know, i'm too much of a thrifter so I, I was one like I had my six mm-hmm. with the cracked screen for years, and I was like, it's fine. It like cracked. So I was like opposite. Instead of getting a screen protector to protect my screen, I waited for it to crack, and then I got a screen protector so it would stay on and I wouldn't cut my fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah. How yeah. many of you guys have done that? Go ahead. I know you've done it. <laughs> um, I lived with that thing forever. My kids have never had new phones. Um, so when I, they always get my hand-me-downs Perfect. and it was the first time I justified, I'm like, no, if I buy an expensive phone, I will make, it's going to be business all the way. I'll take all my pictures on it and I do. So yeah. it's been an investment and it's been worth it for me. And the cameras on these things nowadays are so awesome. <laughs> I know. No kidding. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there she's coming in there. My big blackie bulb dog we'll just came in. Catch up real quick. Here, oh, hello we have, to uh, kids in. deals and more. Oh, and, oh. and Amish, the Amish or the what? I forget. She said she was new Greg's too. Greg's here. Hey, Greg. And then um, where is it? I check off by so fast. Uh, Amish. I know. Uh, Amish. Amish it flipper. Amish. There she is. Amish. Hey man, or thanks. He. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, the I, SD you know, card. I, I pay her. And, so kids yeah. deals and more. Like, seriously, they've just been a couple months. I I feel ya. And yeah, my phone was the two minute charge. Like I carried a battery pack everywhere I went. It's. No joke. It's, I it's true. use it till it's dead. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I did. I she knows. I did yeah. until like and this was the newest phone, and now I'm even outdated on here because I think we're on what on the 11 or something. Yeah. Oh, good job, junk girl. I love it. Thanks, Patty. Listen in the car. Thank you so much. I do. I you know, and the funny thing is because of that habit of my phone like going crazy and I always had to charge or borrow or whatever, I now have a halo with me all the time. Like I can't you know, I can't get out of that habit. I'm like, not even gonna lie, this habit. phone I can go I, I use it to take pictures. So I got up this morning, I listed twenty things start to finish this morning, pictures, upload and then I left to go to the post office in the store, and I was like, oh, I left my – one of my chargers went bad, so I threw it away. And I was like, yeah, I didn't yeah. bring my charger. Oh, my – like, I felt naked. Like, I felt like it, I was going to have a crisis leaving the house without a charger. <laughs> but I was, like, 75% still mm-hmm. yeah, after yeah, all yeah. of that work. So I was like, oh. I'll show you my charger. Like, yeah. See how afraid it is? Oh, my God, Joey. <laughs> oh. oh, my Joey. Still works. But I realized I got a new um, MacBook Pro not too long ago, and it doesn't have a USB port mm-hmm. inside. So I'm like, how do I charge my phone from my computer? And I can't. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I became an accidental Mac person. I didn't want to be a Mac person, but it's right. just evolved over time. And Yeah, that's me. And now I'm like a dinosaur. I'm like, I'm getting the same thing because... I'm used to it, and I don't want to learn anything else. It's the yeah. only my husband uh, has a Samsung. He's like, your Apple sucks. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, Jimmy yeah, Boy has the. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe you mentioned I, I might have missed it. Do you do all your listening on the phone, or do you use the desktop to like? So the only thing on? I do is I'll go over. Oh look, I got the side right. <laughs> I go over here, yeah. right? and up. I just take my like normally. I had to pick up you guys. I'm no joke. I came down here. I was like, oh crap, there's stuff everywhere. Because I've been working today, but normally yeah. there's piles all, you know, like the two picture pile. So I'll take pictures and I've actually started something new. I just take the pictures. Mm-hmm. I'll do like 10 items at a time. And then I just upload them. Like I go to my active listings. If I'm doing like men's shirts, I'll just pick up a men's shirt to, from one of my active listings, sell similar, sell similar, sell similar, and just dump all my pictures in there. Um, I used, And then I used to put them in a pile and sit down in my drafts and do the measurements. 
somebody, I cannot remember who, and I'm going to apologize, but I'm sure <laughs> just like my processes and just like everybody's processes, it's kind of a culmination of everybody, right? So like right, right. everything that I do, I just kind of pick little tips from different people and make it work for me. They actually have a dry erase board that they write all of their measurements on. So if you do, a oh, short, so as I'm sitting uh... there... That's There's a, a couple people I've seen. Yeah, it's do Tiffany it. and Hugo. That's Sell Quick, Ship Quick. They do that too. Okay, okay. I think yeah, I yeah, got yeah. it from somebody else, but I'm sure that that person got it from another person. So yeah, they yeah, would yeah. do like oh, one yeah. thing and then write the item and then the measurement. Right, I've just right. started doing like just writing all the stuff as I go down so I can fit like 10 items on this board and then I take a picture of this board hmm. and then just upload it. So then as I'm listing, it's right there. And then I and then I put like what tote it's in because you can see behind me I've got like all these totes and then I've got fifty more in another closet to where nice. I can just assign it like and I just throw them in there as I'm listing. So when Very I'm listing, cool. I have right here mm -hmm. on my board. Anyways, that's my process. That was boring. Nice. I have wine. I love it. Yeah. Well, at least yeah. you have a process because yeah, a, a lot process. of us don't have processes. <laughs> that's my process this week. Don't ask me next week. Mm -hmm. We can talk. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, exactly. For sure. As the week goes, I this echo is getting worse and worse in my head, you guys. Sorry, I feel like I'm hearing myself talk now. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't uh Katie said Teresa does that too, and I had no idea. That's my my storage is like ninety five percent more from what Teresa does. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you're right. I think everybody has like starts one way and then they and mm -hmm. they add it to their uh to their system. So yeah. Yeah, so I just kind of, when people share what they do, I'm like, oh, they just shared three awesome things, but that one thing will work great for me. Yeah, right? And that's what we all take do. take something and, like, tweak it for your situation. Absolutely. Too, yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that's my new phone adventure picture taking. Awesome. So I wanted to ask you questions about related to Meetup now. So you yes. are a Meetup coordinator, fairly new Meetup in your area yes. in Colorado Springs. And... It's Joey. Okay. That's me again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry. We've we've been having this issue where you know Joey and I don't have like you know hundred dollar systems and sometimes there's an echo. Yeah, I'm, I'm. On the podcast, and so <laughs> it's the scary clowns living in Robin's head. <laughs> And it's true. I don't like clowns. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's true. Oh, wait. What? Oh. Oh, oh no. I got to look the other way. No, no, That's my bad side. You guys, I got to get back. <laughs> I can hear you. Can you. Me? No. Oh, my God. I can hear you. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. He's jumping out. So it's just me and you, Liz. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we need to talk about now? I know. Uh, let's talk about... Do uh, you have anything planned? Like, what? Uh, what is happening with... Um, with your meetup so really it's it seems like it we started meetup like a million years ago but we've only had like four real meetups not even four real That's meetups. awesome um december we did combined with denver i'm so fortunate um the denver meetup coordinator Lori, she's she's in the chat um to be with her and then on the other side of colorado springs we have a, a newer that just took over the other Colorado Springs meetup. Oh, cool. I know a lot of people are like, what? You guys have that many meetups with, like, they're all vibrant and have 20 plus people attending. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a need. Mm -hmm. And we meet on different days of the week. We meet at different times of the month. And um, what I really love is that we've all coordinated together. So we did a combined Christmas party, basically. Um, and just we just all went out to dinner. There was no agenda. Um, eBay came down. We had a couple of um, eBay staff that are remote workers in the Denver area oh, that came to our meetup. Remote yeah. workers? What does that mean? Remote So like there are in... actually um, people that work all across the United States. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'll get to that. But anyways, um, <laughs> they do. So they're programmer engineers. Uh, one worked oh. on Seller Hub and okay. one worked on, you know, the little lightning bolt for item yes. specifics. He was yes. on that team. So it was really I cool that you. we do. We've got people working remote for eBay all over. And we happen to find two people right in our backyard that That's found right. out about Meetup. They had no idea that eBay sellers even did Meetups. 
So they came to our meetup and kind of mingled with us. And that was so awesome. Um, and we've done a that couple of really meetups cool. since then. And, uh, you know, in the area, we just try and support each other and go to each other's meetups. Um, right. And, you know, it was just announced um, up front in Denver. Yeah. So Denver's only an hour north of here, okay. um, which is nice. amazing. Yeah. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. Got so it. I'm, I'm going to be really weird, you guys. I, I'm, oh. I'm not used to being on the right side in the screen. Yes. So Joey and I are both this, having a difficult time. <laughs> I'm going to do this roulette thing real quick. So I'll just give you one second to figure this out. It's it's so funny. We're so li like that way, Joey and I. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like you're, you're used to one way and then it just throws you off. Oh, there we go. Liz? Perfect. Wait. We're back. Sorry, guys. We're back. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I, I was like, what happened? I had to fix that. I had to fix that. Just, oh, my God. Uh. Okay, so did you? Okay, so when when is your your um up you have an upfront that's happening? When is that happening? Like when when? Because Tampa's first, right, yeah, Joey? Tampa's I, first. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't uh, yeah? You guys. I don't know while, when the first one is. Um um I think it's next month. February twenty seventh. I was gonna say there was seven February yeah. as soon as yeah. February, aren't there? The end of this month is the um, Tampa one, the twenty seventh, and then yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think you guys are. We're August twentieth. So we're That's a week, week before, before you guys. Us. Yeah. 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 I'm super excited about it. Um, I think all of us here in this area, the meetup coordinators, or I mean, anytime we can get even on the phone, we're like, hey, you guys are doing these up front. So are you coming to Denver? Are you coming? They're like, eh, you know, we got to look at numbers. And we're like, you, we're like, let's just keep beating down their door. Maybe they'll come to our backyard. And yeah. Yeah. Would have it. Like anytime we could mention it, we mentioned it. Um, and I think that just the kind of the force, I, I doubt it. I'm sure that they go by numbers and active sellers and demographics. I don't know how they pick, but um, yeah, super excited that they're coming to our backyard this summer. I love it. I love it. Does, where is it happening? Is it happening where you have your meetup or is it happening at a different place or? No. So um, it's going to happen a little bit south. It's going to happen Okay. It's called the Santa Fe Arts District in Denver. So Ooh, it is, fun. and it's going to be at a wedding venue. Um, as a matter of Ooh. fact, one of our members, um, she did catering gigs, and she's actually catered at this place before. Oh, that's um, so cool. she's totally like knows exactly where it's at. Um, it looks like it's going to be a big, a great event. I'm glad that you guys asked Liz. Um, you know about what the capacity about of each uh, up front will be mm -hmm. so we can get a really good idea oh yeah 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 she was very um upfront about that yeah and then she's, i'm so like, happy I, yeah she was and i think she was saying like it depends on the venue so um but they still wanted to keep it very uh grassroots feeling so anywhere between 150 to 175 so yeah so mm -hmm. I see, um, oh my gosh, somebody's like, uh, uh, fat girl sewing. I know. Yeah. I was surprised they had one in Colorado. They never seem to have anything here. I know. And hey, since you're here and you're listening, I don't know if you're closer to Colorado Springs, if you're closer to Denver, look for us. We meet up every single month, either in Denver or Colorado Springs. Yay. And it's three different dates. Please come out. Please come out. And let us know. Like if it's a long drive for you, you could come and hang. Like our, so our last meetup, we did, we had a lot of new people. So I want to say Econ mm. 101, we had a brand new member because he heard uh, my interview that the last one that we did it in December, he was listening. Oh, was that's like, oh my rad. gosh, we have a meetup. He's not on social media. That's how we found out about our meetup in Colorado Springs. We had that's another rad. girl that found out about meetup because she was out having coffee that morning and was asking the barista was talking to her. And he's like, Oh, you know, there's an eBay meetup tonight. Cause she was telling him what she does. Still have no idea who this barista is or how he knows about meetup. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was so awesome to get new people to come in. We had about 20 people. We had a lot of people, and I threw the offer out. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll just reserve a table at Olive Garden after our two-hour meetup. Um, and I think 17 of us ended up going out of the 20. That's to rad. Together for another two hours. So if you're ever in the area, if you ever, like, have to do a drive for a meetup, I'm just extending this for Colorado. If you come down to Colorado Springs, go up to Denver. Um, I try and make their meetups also to support um, – let me know. We can go shop and go grab a coffee or something. Yeah, remember, that's she's awesome. a lazy shopper, so it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love it. Well, it looks like she's from, maybe you know, Alamosa? Alamosa, three hours, yeah. So Denver's probably a little bit further, I think. But it'd be worth it, though, I think. So, and I think, I don't know, I think I saw, I don't want to call anybody out. Aw, thanks. Somebody said <laughs> the last meetup was awesome. I loved our last meetup. Um, I love meetups, so, I do too. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I want to be able to show up to meet up one day and just be like, what do you guys want to talk about? And we just talk for two hours. Oh, it happens. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you just, you know, Joey and I have been there where we've had no subject and we just network. Um, but the best thing to do though, Liz, I mean, like what we've tried to do within our team is basically you got to reach out to your members. It's really not about the person yeah. who actually runs the meetup because um, it's really about the talent and the the information that the other people bring to the team. Yes. We're, we're always very surprised, Joey and I, by people who step forward and we don't know anything about them. And then they start talking about what they sell. Um, like I'll, I'll call him out, uh, Don, not Trader Don, but there's another Don and he's electronics. He mostly sells electronics. And I was all over him about his social media and he has literally just been on fire and he, his electronics are literally selling 200, 150, 300. It, it's amazing. So I, we, I can't wait to bring him up so that he can talk about his experience with selling hard, good electronics. And yes. You know, and then we tried to do, and like the last time that we had our meetup, we talked about stores, which was really interesting to see the no stores versus stores. It was very yeah. interesting numbers. Like I thought everybody had a store and come to find out like half the room were like, no, we just do this. And I'm like, what? I mean, it was just, yeah. So yeah, I think you're, you know. And you're growing, which is good. So yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's so fun. So I'm j definitely, if you guys, seriously, if you're mm -hmm. thinking about a meetup, mm -hmm. go on the eBay uh, community site and see if there's a meetup. Yeah. But also, there are a lot of unofficial meetups that aren't on that page. Seriously, I challenge you to go on Facebook and just type in eBay and your city name or a big city name or something around because there might be an unofficial group that meets up. I right. mean, right, right, just because right. it's not on that page doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And if not, man, it's there. I well, mean, I ours, mean, ours started yeah. with three of us having coffee all the time. And we're like, oh, I love it. You know, there, you know there's a lot of cool people. We need to go meet them. Yeah. Yeah. And we have. I agree. I agree. We have. So, and it's, I mean, we have a member, I mean, we have a member that drives over an hour. As a matter of fact, Vicky, I don't. No, I think she might be in Vegas hanging out with Vicky right now. I think I saw something earlier, and if so, I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have a lot of awesome members. I've met a lot of awesome people. Oh, Michelle. You might be talking about Michelle. Yeah. Is it Michelle? Yeah. Uh -huh. our, our What we call our little group is the Bossy Posse. I'm supposed okay. to be there now, but I, I can't because it's just one of those things where – you know, I try to I, budgeting, you know, it's one of those things between medical and you have to make, trying yeah. to travel at the same time. So yeah, they're a rad group. Yeah. Yeah. She's awesome. I'm so it. glad she comes out. Yeah. Me too. I, me too. Yeah. I swear by meetup. Meetup is, is how Joey and I first met. Mm -hmm. So I can't, uh, I can't do anything but deem it to be great. Yeah. There is going to be an unofficial meetup in Tennessee. Uh, Yes. I think so. There's actually two groups. I know Alan and Sherry are going to try to do one in their area, and I think there's already one in Nashville. So. Yeah, I think there's a um, one that uh, I'm going to get the guy's name wrong. It might be Sleepless Hustler. I'm not Craigslist Picker. One of those guys just does a um, uh, meet up there as well. Doing one, mm -hmm. like just yeah. an official get together, and then just want to say thanks to um, uh, Sweet Pea. She signed up after hearing our breaking news announcement. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Signed up for oh, what? Yeah. Our page. Follow. Oh, oh, our page. Yeah. Oh, that's very sweet. Subscribe, yeah. I and thought maybe she signed Tommy up said, for upfront. And Tommy <laughs> said, "Look at Craigslist Hunter, uh, Pete. He makes fifty to seventy-five thousand a month with no eBay store." See, there you go. But he also owns a brick and mortar, though, too. Yeah, so I don't know if that's all on eBay or just or not, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, it just depends on what you sell, and mm -hmm. if, you know if you can make the money with the listings. That's uh, the. If Alan and Sherry signed up for the San Jose, the meetup is actually a week before, so I don't think you're gonna. You're either gonna be no. there for the meetup or just the the upfront. Did, did um, and we'll talk about this afterwards. Did Nancy change it because our meetup was scheduled two days before? Oh, I don't know. I it's, I haven't our heard was anything. On the Tuesday and then Thursday is the um, is the meetup. I mean the upfront is the upfront unless they decide to, to move it. But who knows? 
So that's we'll, where we're at we'll right now, out. Alan and Sherry. It's uh, the Tuesdays, the meetup, and Thursdays, the upfront. So it's like a meetup and a yeah. meetup. So. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's just on eBay. That's awesome. Is, uh, that's 20, just that 50, is 75,000. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Um, so anyway, let's get into your, you know, eBay, Poshmark, whatever else you sell on platforms. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not sure laughs> where else you're selling right now, but, um. Um, I got some souls you sent me. Yeah, you talked about last time that they're still haunting you. Yeah, and <laughs> wait, that sounds yeah. bad. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> well, yeah, so I'm I've stuff. really gotten up on um Poshmark. I you think have I'm like you have 500 listings now. Nice. I think done. when I was here in December, um, I have an amazing VA. Good, mm. good. Yes, since the, since like the week of Christmas. And just in case people um, don't know what VA amazing. is, virtual assistant is what she's talking about. Yes, mm -hmm. and she's a godsend. So I've been using this love perfectly it. to push a ton of listings from eBay to Poshmark. Um, yeah. And I think when I was on, I was maybe at like 100 listings. And I think I'm up to a little over 500 now. Wow. So I've been able to just, you know, as I list, I try and sit down every night and just push them off uh, to Poshmark. And my amazing right. virtual assistant shares and likes and does all That's of awesome. that for me. <laughs> so it kind of takes that out of my hands, which is what, what Very I was cool. really hesitant about with Poshmark. And are you um, on just those platforms, eBay and Poshmark? I have a couple on Mercari. I've had okay. a couple of sales. But quite honestly, it's I, there's no reason I shouldn't be doing it. Mm-hmm. I and I know this sounds so horrible and tell me if there's anybody here with me I'm not confident in myself that like I'm going to remember right like if I sell okay. like yeah. if I sell one thing on one platform like let me just do two and then now I'm comfortable with two and I I feel like um if I do Mercari then I'm going to forget and if I sell one then I'm going to forget to remove it and so I don't have enough confidence in myself yet. I think that comes. Yeah. I think that's. A, yeah. I think it's a legitimate. A, a legitimate thought. Hey, J Joey, are you clicked in on your mic? Because now I can hear you typing. Yeah. yeah. Anybody Type else chat. here? Okay. Yeah, I'm just typing in the chat. I know, but okay. I don't know what's happening. You sound like you're in a tunnel. Hmm. Not sure. So, um. I, this echo. Okay, let me jump out. I think the echo is on my side, so let me see if I can jump out and jump back in. Okay. Because I don't know what is happening. I can hear Joey typing, which I never used yeah, to, and now I can hear. hear. It's so weird. Okay, I'll be right back. Bye, everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties of a live show. So. And Liz, you can hear me okay? I can. Okay. I can. Is, am, I, am I okay? Yeah, yeah. I hear you fine. I don't okay. hear anything going on on your end. Now I'm going to have to play host roulette again to move everybody around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. No, Robin King. Perfect. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wait, it's so weird. Like, sometimes I, it, the internet works well, and sometimes it doesn't. Who knows? But anyway, what yeah. I was going to say was on your, on your multiple platforms, I think that's everybody, though, because I know that uh, – there's been times where I've sold something on Posh and not taken it off eBay in time, and then I've sold it on eBay, and so then I have to put the ding on Posh versus eBay because eBay will give you the ding. Do you know what I mean? Right. So, yep. I, so I, the system that I've done, kind of talking about the eraser board, it, um, you, you see on my door behind me, there's this like uh, – English telephone booth kind yeah. of thing. So it's kind of a sticky back and it's an eraser board. And so what I do is when I've actually done multiples, like, you know, multiple platforms, I will put like how many I've done. And it just kind of reminds me to check every day when I walk into my office, like, ooh, let me check eBay first. Let me check Posh. Let me check Macari Grailed. I mean, I'm on, I'm on like five Dang. different. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, confidence. <laughs> it, well, I don't want confidence. It's just more I need to get the hustle on um, because eBay is not – is not, I, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to be kind, but it's not always there. Oh, right, so like right, right. So right now I'm selling on Grailed a lot and I'm selling a lot on Macari, <clears throat> which is all new to me. 
Um, um, I've sold five on Poshmark today and only two on eBay. See? It's so crazy, right? And it's I so will crazy. stop dead in my tracks. I was telling Joey earlier I was outsourcing and I was texting him and my friend called and I made a sale and I'm like, hey, hold on a second. I got to remove this off of eBay. Like dead, like in the middle of the aisle of the store. I'm like, if I don't do it now, I will forget. Right. I'm one of those people, if you text me and I see it and I don't respond now... I'm kind of like, well, it's been three weeks. Is it like that mm-hmm. odd period now? Or if you text him back, would it be weird? Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm, I have to do it right then and there. Yeah, so I'm learning yeah. So I'm learning all the in and outs of Posh. Like, for example, okay. you can take up to three days to send, which is like yeah. it's out of character for me because – with eBay, I'm always sent, like as soon if I if it's before 12 noon, I will ship everything out, and mm-hmm. um, it's it's crazy. So there's this I forgot to look on my posh one day, and I just a fluke. I was at the mail place dropping off the eBay packages, and I looked down and I freaked out in line. I was like, Oh my god, I'm gonna be so late. <laughs> But then I talked to Joey's wife, you know, she's kind of a big person and, you know, she knows a lot about uh, Posh and I found out that we have like up to three days. And I was like, thank God, you know, this because I was going to like send an apology letter. I was going to take 10% off. And I mean, it was, God, it was crazy. I'm but, not going to you know. lie. The other day I did that. I, there was something fragile and I was getting ready to go to the post office and it's, I've sold a plate, like a 12 inch plate and I was, had everything and I was like, uh, I almost felt guilty because I'm like, I don't want to package it up. Right. Like I'm ready to go. Yeah. I don't want to stop. And have to like, <laughs> and I actually felt guilty for not doing it right then and there, but I'm like, they give me three days, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yes, I almost felt guilty days. for waiting the next day. Yeah. yeah oh three yeah. Days, but I'm very, my wife is a little more neurotic than I am about it, but we have to keep that posh ambassador number. Like it gives you the status, right? It tells you what your ship time is. It has to be under one. <laughs> So, I think I might oh, go for her. Again. Yeah, okay. so we're like at point nine, and she has to. We have to like make sure we get it out the same day, just to keep it that right, way. Right, right. Yeah, I tried yeah. to do the same thing. It just happened that this particular time I forgot to look. Yeah. So it was a good thing that she knew the information, so I know that I was still under the limit, which was thank God. But yeah, I'm kind of like <laughs> yeah. your wife. I'm like it needs to go out the same day, just because I, otherwise it just scro- it just throws me it throws me house. off. Yes, undercover thrifter. Yes, that is a baby Yoda. It's hand crocheted. It was from Star's cousin. She made it and sent it to me because I loved it so much. I know. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Joey's background. He does have the ability to put a baby Yoda up there. That's why I was like, wait, did he have it up? <laughs> <laughs> Send Joey a link to some awesome ones. He's been looking. Oh, oh. Well, my, headphones are, my headphones are crap. I think both of ours are, Joey, to be honest. Literally, I spent 10 bucks on these a year ago. That's, that's hysterical. <laughs> I stole these from my son's old PlayStation. Oh, they're probably good yeah. though. Do you know what I mean? Because they're the PlayStation. Gaming ones are a lot better. This is a uh, okay. I don't even know the brand. I'm trying to figure out. Um, on oh, they're the, like uh, brand list. Pop- <laughs> so, <I don't> <laughs> I, well, mine's got a brand. I think mine's Logitech or something. something. I don't know what the brand. I literally is. spent ten bucks. But it's oh, getting yeah, the job done. It's getting the well, job yeah, done. It's getting to the it point is for now. It's doing okay. So anyway, I love it. so let's oh, get Alexis into your your um your sales. What I wanted to, mm-hmm. That's what what I was I wanted say. to ask you there. was, well, we've been asking a lot of our guests on our Wednesday show some specific questions and then getting their answers on these before we show their their sale items. So the first one would be, what was your biggest sale? What was your worst? And what is the one item you might have had where you um, – Thought you might have done well and didn't, you know, vice versa, something like that. Yeah. Oh, look at headphones. that. Look at you got hand delivered. My wife handed me the Xbox headphones. Let me try these. Oh, that's awesome. They're probably way better. Um. So sorry for my, like, choppy questions there while I'm handing them out my headphones. No, it's so fine. Wait, so what was the first one, Joey? What was your, the your, best? Like, your best sale, like your best flip Okay, ever. go there first, Liz. Yeah, go with the first. best. Uh, do the best I'll, one. I'll catch up in a second. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all fine, Joey. So, I don't even know if it was this week. Um, I posted it on my Instagram. Oh, let me see. When was You're it? You're being real current. Uh, so, 
I don't, well, it's probably a good one. Dude. Within the last <laughs> week, you know. So I put it on my Instagram. So I found these um, Polo Ralph Lauren khaki. They're like the paratrooper pants with a bunch oh, of yeah. Yeah, straps yeah, yeah. and pockets. Mm-hmm. But like the bottoms, like they were the they have ties at the uh, ankles. They were ripped. Some of the buckles were missing. They, I mean, they had rips and stains. They were two ninety nine. Like wait, two ninety nine like is two hundred ninety nine dollars? No, 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 no. They were two dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, okay, okay. And I so knew they were distressed. They were, yeah. I mean, I'm. I can hear you. We got gotcha. you. Bye. Let me mute him. I'm gonna mute him. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can mute him. Oh, there I did. I muted him. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I described them as tattered, worn, distressed, <laughs> distressed buckles, like close-ups. Um, I got them anyways. When I went in, don't, I always, I'm one that if I know it's a good item, even if there's flaws, I will pick them up anyways. I knew if yeah. they were perfect, I could have easily gotten 150 bucks for them. Wow. Like, okay, because, so tell me what you sold them for again. So you, you $70, put out just... $69.99 oh, plus shipping. That's cool. So, and they sold in like three days that's all awesome. i immediately i actually knew they sold the next day because i told my husband i put them up for 69.99 somebody sent me an offer for 40 an hour later somebody sent me an offer for 45 and i told oh, my husband I was like i'm leaving them until tomorrow i'm gonna see what happens yeah, yeah. overnight we laid down yeah. for bed and i got the cha-ching full price so and that's you, almost and that was with shipping so that was kind of i mean this i'm gonna tell you guys this has been probably my worst week on ebay in, in three years Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I th- I've been looking at a lot of the groups. I think it's been, I, I think it's like for everybody. I don't yeah, think Yeah, I think you. so too. And I think, I mean, I think it's a combination of, you know, I and, and I struggle with this because I hear a lot of people all the time say, well, it's this time of year. Well, well we can make excuses every day of the week, right? 365 yeah, yeah. days a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But quite honestly, yeah. I call this time kind of like that lull after Christmas spending pre-tax. Mm-hmm. So I knew, I mean, if I go and look back at my last couple years, it's a slower time anyways. Plus, yeah. I took more time off this year. So oh, me the too. combination of the two, I mean, it really doesn't surprise me. I'm not mad about it. I mean, I am. I'm mad at myself about it, but whatever. It is what it is. So right. um, so that was kind of my more surprising ones because I wasn't quite sure that I could pull $70 out of torn and tattered pants. Yeah. Okay. So tell me what the brand was again. I was trying to go back to like. They're, what... uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Okay, yeah. I was and trying to pull them up. I was trying to pull them up on the eBay thing. Oh, to... yeah, yeah, yeah. To see what the comps were, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I um, but if you look at uh, Ralph Lauren paratrooper pants, they're the ones not just cargo, but they've got like multiple pockets That's and awesome. straps and whatnot. Um, another one, I rarely go to the bins, and it, I probably haven't been in a while. I went, and I, you know, you gotta love it because there's just a bunch of resellers digging for whatever they sell, and I had yeah. to laugh because I heard these ladies talking, and I knew, and you know. Robin, you've been selling a long time. You just kind of yeah. get used to it, whatever. And this lady's like, ew. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a Pottery Barn duvet. And I'm like, throw that away my way, girl, you know. And yep. washed it, sold it. Had somebody contact me. They're like, these sell for $40 on Mercari. I'm like, oh, uh, you should have bought it on Mercari. That's a great deal. Exactly, right? Um, yes. And the next day, it sold for eighty dollars <laughs> isn't it funny Whatever, i know i get fine. that all the time too how, i don't even how care are anymore. your bins how are your bins because i know um, like in vegas the bins like suck and then s- here in sacramento they can go either way like do you know what i mean like, so i will tell you i started thrifting and going to the bins in probably oh. 2004 Wow. Okay, okay. When the bins were, like, I don't even think they were called the bins. Like, we had a Goodwill in Seattle. So anybody that's been to the sea, I saw somebody in the chat saying they were out, like, a couple hours outside of Seattle. Where the bins are now in the industrial area is not where they right. started. Oh, okay. They started oh, okay. on the other side of town, and I used to go there. Um, it's like, I'm talking 2004, right? So I, right, right. And as I've moved, I think we talked about this, you know, in the military, I've moved and have had to change my sourcing strategies state to state. Right, um, right. My bins are the best I've ever been to. That's awesome. Um, I I can go to the Seattle bins. I mean, that was a long time ago. I know that they've changed. I've been in Nebraska. I've been in California. If I go out yeah. of state and I see that they have one, I've been to Phoenix. I've been That's to Vegas. Cool. I've you know, right. uh, mine's my favorite. 
That's good. That's yeah. good. Because I like I like ours here in Sacramento. Denver they're... bins are really nice too. I love it. Oh, oh, yeah. right. Because you're not in Denver. I was going to say Denver. There's three in you're... Denver, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. There's three in Denver and one in on the south side of Colorado Springs. Right. I forget, so, I forget yeah. that you're not Denver. You're Colorado right, Springs. Right, right. Yeah. And Colorado I mean, Springs is near hour. the Air, the Air Force thing, right? The Academy. So pretty sort much of, kind of. from I'm like, you can go outside my house and look out my window and see the Academy. Right. But yeah, we have five oh military God. bases here. Dude, that's a rad campus. I love that it campus. Is. It, is. it is. No, it's um like it takes me five minutes to get there. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So yeah, Denver bins are really, I mean, I mean, they're bins. I'm not going to say they're nice, right? Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, but, they're, you definitely have to go in prepared, right? Like I wear gloves and I know that I'm going to have to check all my stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 I so, it. but it's, I mean, it just depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood. Right. Right. I totally agree because if I have yeah. to fight, there's times where I've walked in and it is way packed and I'm like, mm -mm. and yeah. then there's times where I walk in and it's like me and two other people and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be elbows deep up in here. But you know I'm what? Serious. Sometimes I'm elbows deep and sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to wait and see what they throw away. Kind of like the exactly. duvet I sold for $80 in a week, right? Well, you know, do you, everybody's oh. looking for something different. Yeah, yeah. Do and you find like uh, in your bins, like do you, because it's by the weight, right? Yeah. Like, Okay, so do you find like do you find more jackets? Do you, like because I here in Sacramento, I find a lot of people chuck the jackets to the side because they don't want to pay, and that's when I get all the good stuff. Like yeah. I get all the vintage ski jackets and like all the rad stuff. So I assume it's kind of like that for you too, maybe. Yeah, you know, it really just depends. I mean, if if you've been to the bins and if you've really been digging, sometimes you can find a theme with a the bin, right? Right, like, right, right. Uh, army t-shirts there'll be like 20 of them in a bin or like if i find a pottery barn to be there's probably going to be better linens in that crate and if people aren't looking for right. that um I, I, you really it's just oh it's um i'm sorry i i lost the chat okay there it goes oh, again yeah, um, it's I think it's our net. I think it's just been really weird. It's, it's oh my my son's gaming in the next room too, so oh, we don't have. Oh. I was like, Joey, if you the... want to switch us, you can too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um. Okay, let me ask you this, Liz. Yeah. Have you ever found a beater lacquer, and I'm probably saying it wrong, blanket uh -huh. in your bins? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've got one right now, and I hesitated to list it because I got it out. And it's kind of beat up and it doesn't, you know, when you like, oh, I found it. And then you look at the comps and then the condition, you're like, that's 25 bucks. Yeah. 25 <laughs> bucks is still a great profit, right? When you think about, I'm going to well, lose 20 things a day and I only paid two bucks yes. for it, right? And you, like, like in the long run, but, two dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But in the long run, you're like, oh, it's that disappointment sets in because you were like, oh, I'm going to get $90 and you're not. No. But I found a couple, yeah. I've I've gone in and people, so we joke because you can tell the people, like, what people are looking for. And I joke with my friend Amanda, I don't know if she's in here watching, like, we'll go and, like, one guy's like, oh, why are you guys passing on all the Victoria's Secret pink stuff? And I'm like, right. I'm looking for St. John. I don't know, you know. But here, if you find St. <laughs> John, you give it to me and I'll give you all the Victoria's Secret pink t-shirts, you know. Yeah. Um, so it really just depends on what you're looking for that day. And right. some days I've left spent $5 and days I've left with the whole cart full. Ours, they're rotating constantly. Like, mm -hmm. I will try and catch a new bin before I've even been through the row of the other bins that they brought <laughs> out. It's constant all day. I love it. I love yeah. it. I, nice. Yeah. So, I, but that's, but that's, you know, so those Ralph Ram pants finds. were great. That's funny. What's that? I, he, Frankie's finds. He's like, Joey's engrossed in the conversation or he's unable to get a word in. And I'm like, uh, he's busy for, working on his and trying to get it switched around. So he's engrossed with the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear me, so I wasn't able. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Now totally I'm able to get you. a word in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then what? switch us, what? Joey. What? No. I'm going to switch everybody around here. So, yeah. yeah so the, that duvet from the bins, I mean, that was a great, you know – find and then you know i sold some i'm 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 in a clearing out phase 
And normally, mm-hmm. I mean, nobody lists on eBay to make a dollar, right? But there's nope. some stuff that I've had for two years, and I'm like, somebody's like, I'll give you four. And I'm like, shoot, accept. Like, I'm at that stage with my really old stuff mm-hmm. right now, and I'm like, get it out. $4 is better than zero, and it's been yeah. sitting for two years. So, Same like, here. I sold something for $4 this week, too. And I was happy to get it out of the house. I just Did go. you really? Oh, my. I just go. So did like, we what list. am I going to do? Recline, decline it? <laughs> did you? Like, yeah, yes. $4. Just take it and let me just move on. Yep, you same know? here, four dollar right. item. I, did you did, did you send Joey your solds? I got them. I'm just waiting for you guys. <laughs> let's to, do, let's pull just one waiting up. for yeah, you guys I'll to go. have your conversation. Oh no, we're, we're just yeah. <laughs> hey, did we're we get off track, things. Robin? What? Oh, I think you guys are no, fine. no, no. We're yeah. still talking solds. We're just talking like oh, okay. where we source. Yeah, we're good. It's because my headphones messed up and I left you guys to your own devices here. Oh, chat. I lost the chat too. Let me see. I gave up on the chat. I can't even keep up. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Nana. Nana Tink, uh, joining us here. There's a lot. There's a lot Frankie of people. There we yep. go. You got it right. And mother, and mother's mustache. Mother's I mustache must here. ask you a question. And Alexis is in the house. Like, everybody, dude, you guys all rock. Yeah. Well, let me get up I the first it. item for you here, Liz. I'm dying to know. I just want to see. Like, I love There's seeing people's There's nothing souls. spectacular in these souls. I, you know, like, Joe, I'm like, can I go back, like, three months? Because like, <laughs> sure. I feel that's exactly. the last time I had, like, you one go, of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. All right, so the it. first one looks like it's an, and- I'm going to butcher the name. Antonio Milani. Antonio so this Milani. has sold Andy. a lot of Dillard's. I got this, str- I had oh, two of them. Cool. It's been listed okay. on eBay for, I don't even know how long, a year um, I sold one right off the bat, whatever. I think I've got it for 50 bucks on eBay. I sold one on eBay. Probably took it. I got these really, really cheap. Let me just put it that way. Um, had two of them. And I hesitated to put it on Poshmark because, as you can tell, the square picture doesn't fit. Mm-hmm. Right? So I never put it on Posh. And, like, two weeks ago, I'm like, just screw it. I'm throwing – even if the pictures aren't going to fit, I'm throwing it on Poshmark. This sold in a week for $69 full price. Didn't even send me an offer. I love it when that happens on Posh. Me too. I yeah. love it. Oh, I just realized this is on Posh. I get you now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So this is Poshmark. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. I had it, it for like great. 55 on eBay. And, you know, I just did the best I could with adjusting the pictures because there it didn't – like that full picture didn't fit in the square. So – Yeah, yeah. And these are done in your box, your glow box? Mm-hmm. This one – Yes, this one was nice. before I did the. That was probably taken when I did my regular camera, okay, and not the iPhone. So you can kind of. Oh, I'm pointing like you guys can see. Sorry, I love it. So, yeah. You're so me, Liz. You're uh, oh my so gosh. <laughs> Joey's always like, Robin, what are you pointing at? And I'm like, well, you know, like they're right on the there. screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a great Poshmark sale, actually. Um, yeah, so for six nine bucks. Fun. Yeah, yeah, and like, no offers, good. which, you know, I'm, I'll haggle all day if you send me an offer and I don't like it. Right, right. I'll just send you a counter offer. I don't Wait care. Wait a minute. So you didn't send any offers on the shipping, so it was full shipping, too? That, yeah. Somebody just nice. outright bought it. I love that. Yeah, God, that's I awesome. do, too. That's why I love Posh, because after three days, too, after they get it and three days later, like, there's no returns. Like, you're right. done. Like, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. That's why I'm surprised that that one sold, but. I, it's just waiting for the right person. I just wrote that name down too on my list of like things to look, you know, because I learn as we go. You know so what I mean? So like, be careful. That's not like all an all inclusive you know. brand. Like it's right, really right. not. It's like just because you see the brand doesn't mean it's going to go well. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, yeah, I found a bunch of them on clearance for like $4.99. Wow. New that was new. That's tags. cool. Ooh, that's yeah. fun. Yeah. Here's your fun one, Liz. This is your, Ooh. your story. See? Talked about I'll this keep last... it short. If you Talked guys know me, I don't know how to tell the, story. the show. short story. And... That's like Krillin. Krillin doesn't tell short stories. Yeah. Well, long story short is what he says. Long story short. I was so... raised by a southern mama. There ain't no such thing as a short story. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so this is, um, we talked about this last time you were on. You Thanks shared this with us. Pictures. And yeah. now you're back sharing it again. But yes. it's not like you had more than one of these. Okay, let's see, Joey, because now you got me all like. Do you guys know what this is? If oh, I before? love this, <laughs> dude! I just need one size. Like, I need at least a size ten. <laughs> this was a size ten, Robin. Is it really? Yes. Oh my god, I love them. Well, maybe so this one will get much. returned, and Robin can Wait, buy it. Wait, did you buy them? 
I didn't. No, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Yep. I yeah, I should have. So, um, those, They're when so I came rad. Up before, I shared my sales, my want, want, want sales. I sold the these. Want, the want. buyer did a return request, and the reason was these look like clown shoes. That's, they're idiots. <laughs> Sorry. Know, right? <laughs> so, those look rad with a pair of jeans and a black top. Like, yeah, how so rad would that This was be? my last pair. I, I'm pretty sure I sent an offer on these because I had them priced high. It's kind of what you do on Posh mark right yeah absolutely um, it's 60 dollars out the door i buy i it was my last pair 60 dollars is rad yeah it is like good job Thank so you. are so, you yeah. done selling are you so, done selling them or do you still have this, a this few is left? my last pair this is my last pair and it's poshmark so there's no returns no <laughs> they can think done. they can wear their clown shoes all day <laughs> <laughs> i think they're so cute I love them. They're they're not clown to me. And I know there's no. and right now I'm telling you right now for everybody in the chat, a, animal print is in. Yes. I, I'm serious because yes. everything that has been animal print between scrubs, jeans, tops for me have all sold literally out the door. Yep, so same. I don't know. Same. Yeah, Except I see Pita people Potter. in Posh. Posh's low ball, Posh's whatever and you know Pita Bottom. <laughs> I know it's like Tommy. You know what? They can keep them. They're not returnable and posh. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, if they were my, if I would have found a pair of my size, like I tried to fit into the eights, and I'm not quite in the eight. I know. What are so you smaller or larger than? I'm like eight. a nine. So I was right. Yeah, I had see? I had eights like and tens. Right. So yeah, they wouldn't have fit. Um, yeah, I think they're awesome. Um, but yeah, Poshmark, it's been hit and miss. You know, I tried once and gave up, and I came back, and it's it's been great. So if you guys have or in the same boat, um, try it again. Posh is low ball, but you just, it's the way I see it. When I get those, like I had one today, a pair of $70 shoes. Somebody sent me an $18 offer and I came back at 49 because that's what I was going to take. And the, the girl's like, I thought I'd try. I was like, hey, there's no harm in trying. You're not going to know unless you ask. Right, right. I, absolutely. I, I don't mind them. I don't care. Uh, I don't sneaker? think a type of, I think it's just an ankle boot. Like it's, it's not, it's, it's not like high top. Sneaker? They're, like they're converse, top. they're converse, uh, Chuck Taylors. Yeah. I think she was she's referring to is like, is it high top? Is there a, the, can, uh, yeah. the canvas top. side, does that mean something rather than like a rubber, like a, some high tops are, you know, like a Reebok or a Nike basketball shoe. They're more rubberized on the side. Yeah. And no. this is more like material, like. Not rubbery up the side. Yeah, we just call them high tops and converse. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. actually, Kent's got it right. Chuck Taylor All Star High Top. Yeah, converse. I mean that's exactly what that was. But it's, mm -hmm. it's so the it's the type or style is a high top. It's right. That's what it is. Regardless if it's uh, a Reebok, a Nike, a Chuck yeah. Taylor, or whatever. It seems to me that Joey like sneakers always have like specifics, like you know, like the really cool, sp like you know what I mean. Like you really have to get the name right, otherwise. Yeah. Converse is the only one where I know it's kind of like it, it's just generalized, either low top, high top. Yeah, because okay. sneakers for me always throw me off. So like, if anybody's a sneakerhead in here, like I have to always go down that rabbit hole. Like I honestly don't know enough, but I mean I do find them. Uh, the only person I know who's right. really good at shoes who's in the chat right now is Alexis. Dude, we go sourcing together in Vacaville all the time. She always walks out with, with like four pairs of shoes and within like five days she's selling one of them for like ninety dollars. I love selling it's, shoes. I know, dude. She and but I'm not a sneakerhead. That's what's weird. I'm like right. I haven't gotten to the whole sneaker game. I don't get it. Oh yeah. But I've got dude. the I like for these I, the only thing I saw was leopard print. Somebody asked, can you use the title if that's not the brand? You know what? I would just if it's like a Walmart brand could do the same thing. I would just call them a um a canvas high top sneaker. Right. Okay. You can't use Converse, canvas yeah. rather than right. Gotcha, canvas gotcha. is the material. Yeah. Gotcha. So if it's regardless of what the brand is, if it's Adidas, Nike, Reebok, Converse, right. you can say Converse or canvas yeah. or generic A canvas, brand, canvas high, top, high top leopard print sneaker. Good. Um, I don't Good. know if she's killing it, Tracy, but she's definitely having more sales on Posh than eBay. Killing it to me means like you're like, you know, slam dunking it every time. And it's kind of one of those things where we just seem to be winging it, huh, Liz? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've done the same thing where you throw it off of eBay onto Posh, and then it's, sell, it's like, so weird. Like, what is, yeah. why is that? Like, I I couldn't tell you. Yeah, like I said, today has just been better. 
mm-hmm. on Posh, then eBay, and then I might go two days without any Posh sales, but eBay will be up. But right. you know, at, like I said, it's it's kind of that lull, right? Yeah. And then also, I like I took so much time off in January. <laughs> and then I had such a hard time getting back into it, mm-hmm. and um, you know, I'm 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 trying to pick up momentum. I'm trying I'm I'm trying to get back to my hustle days. You know, I I really am. I like it, but I'm glad that you showed the one that you sold on Posh. I mean, we we yeah. just talked about that in December, so that was rad. Yeah. So yeah, I am fairly new to Posh. For those that are just tuning in, I, it's it, it's a yeah, great supplement. It. it costs nothing to list there. Right. What that's, that's what's true. so cool. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. how many in the chat actually do posh? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah. Yeah, feel free if you do, share your store names in there and we'll... Yeah, yeah, for around. sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, for sure. All right, so let me go back to your, your eBay now. You okay, sent me a couple cool. eBay ones. This was nice. last week. <laughs> you say it was excited, this aren't like you? Last, last week. week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I sent you the wrong Ooh, what one. is this? Oh, these are on sale now. I don't. So these were. So that price, they're on sale for fifty percent off now. To buy them, if they're sold there, these yeah. for full price. So here's the story behind these. I. I Restoration these something. I Restoration think. I hardware for anybody that's heard of that. It's like Pottery Barn and Crack. Okay. They're stupid expensive. Uh-huh. Like one of these pillow shams is like eighty nine dollars. Oh, they're a pillow sham. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, they're normally like ninety dollars a piece. I get them. What? I get them. I'm lucky. I have a contact at our outlet. That's awesome. Hey, man, um, that's great. Yeah. So they'll contact me when things go on super duper clearance and they have a big sale. So I paid pennies for these things. Um, they awesome. sat forever, forever. Best offer set forever at $50, 54 for the pair, right? Nothing. Mm-hmm. And I had free shipping. So I went through and I took all of my free shipping off. I took best offer off and I just put okay. them on 50% off sale because that's what I was taking for offer. Um, okay. Before I, so I did that the night before and I was going to put them on sale the next day that this actually sold for full price in between that time. So something mm. that I did when I redid this listing and I took off best offer and uh, there was like a couple day lull, but these sold yeah. for full price um, for the that's $50 so cool. in between. Now they're fifty percent off in their sitting. I so this right here <sighs> just goes to show that you just never know. <laughs> like right? Like show some activity. They've been sitting forever. Yeah. I wonder if um So it's twenty four ninety nine now. If anybody wants to buy the last one from Liz, go right ahead. Yeah, but there's no more free shipping on it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't blame you. Are you talking about shipping? Do you, have you changed your your moving forward when the cost has changed? Did you change your going from free shipping to now they're shipping kind of thing. So what I do in the, do you know what I mean? Like what's your, like, did you change your, like, did you pivot on your store? So when I did pivot, it wasn't because of the postal change at all. Um, Oh, okay. So with like, with the postal changes, I just kept everything the same. I do flat rate, uh, shipping. You're like me. Yeah. Yeah. So on some, I make a buck and on some, I lose a buck, Mm -hmm. you know, um, I kind of have a loosey goosey chart that I follow just because I've been doing a loosey goosey. This for a I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it for anybody new um that's trying to do this, but I you know, i you get the feel for it. Um Right. Yeah. But with these they've just been sitting for so long and they all had free mm-hmm. shipping. I'm like, you know what? I wanna put them on a fifty percent off sale because it because I had best offer on them. A- anyways. Um but really, with the postal rate change, the only thing that I've done is my new listings, I've adjusted for the new rates. I have not gone back and changed 990 <laughs> listings to reflect a 40 cent increase or whatever yeah. it was. Right, right. It's just kind of something that I'll eat and I'll get it as I go along. Right. Now, if I was a yeah. seller that only had 40 listings, I would consider it. Wait, because how many listings do you have now? Uh, right now, well, not like when I came, I've sold a couple things. Yay. Yeah. Um, like 990, <laughs> I was at 999 and then I had to go okay. make dinner and jump on. <laughs> I didn't yeah, quite make like... it to my thousand a day. <laughs> now, do you use it. business policies? I do not. Okay. I don't either. Do not. Because that's the way you can easily go into that section and change the shipping and just, it'll apply to everything there without having to individually go in and do it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
I have I not. I think the only reason I didn't is because when they had that glitch of Palooza, and every time you try to change it, all of a sudden I had like 9,000 business policies. Oh my gosh, it was a Oh yeah, every time you create something on your phone, it creates a new business policy. So if you change the yes. order of your shipping, if you change the... Right. Whatever, it creates a new one. So it's... If you go back about an hour when I said I am a creature of habit and I like yeah. things to stay the same, that's the only reason I haven't done it. Because yeah. it works. <laughs> so I change, right? Right, right. When it quits working, then I'll change. Exactly. So I'll ask you a quick question. We have two more eBay stuff to, on here, but yeah, yeah. I oh, cool. talk about shipping, and I forgot to bring this up at the beginning of the show. Um, Poshmark has up their shipping rates. And right, I wanted to, to give you a take on that. It's a thirty-two cent increase. So, what was the price for before that? It was, it like was six ninety-five, right? Six seventy-nine. Six seventy-nine. Now it's seven eleven. So it's a thirty-two cent bump. It's still flat rate yeah. and all that same deal, but I something about seeing a seven in front of shipping instead of a six. It's that mental thing, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to really be able to buy anything that's cheap on Poshmark because I'm going to be spending a lot on shipping. I don't know. Well, unless you bundle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you kind of there got in go. that thinking. Unfortunately, the people I buy from, since I buy men's clothes, it's like one from this closet, one from that closet, one from this oh. closet. And I can't cross bundle. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. sort of don't buy a lot like I would like to. But uh, Right, right. That makes sense. Two ninety. You know, it, I could see sellers now having to give a lot more of the shipping discount in order to entice buyers to to buy the lower cost items because you're not going to buy a $10 um, t-shirt for and then spend right. $7 shipping on it yep. yeah so it's either going to have to be you have to increase your prices or you can't just flood the market with anything right. under 15 bucks it's just not going to work unless you're bundling like three or four in a lot yeah so my take know. on it was like I was hoping like you were saying Joey that it would it would keep people so basically i would bump my prices not the shipping mm -hmm. and then i would still offer like the 140 off that would put me back to like six something so i'd still be around the same thing but i'm hoping that it will eliminate some of the nonsensical buyers that i've had like um i i can tell you today though i've had a lot of low offers like five dollars it's ridiculous but um i you know 32 cents is a big i mean that's a big jump like holy moly mm -hmm. but yeah. at the same time i just sent some boots out on posh and i was like wow that's rad because on ebay it would be 14 dollars." so yeah. you know what i mean so i think i think t-shirt thingy would probably be an issue but in the, if you're in your closet it would wash it would be a wash because you would lose some money on some things and then and maybe lose a customer or two or you would have to do like joey suggested which is offer bigger discounts on your shipping um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting, though. I, I did. It was interesting to see that they couldn't get a better deal. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll take Seven Eleven. It's a great deal when you think about it compared to eBay. Oh, yeah. Sometimes with their, oh, I can yeah. throw it in any box for seven dollars. Exactly. Up to five pounds. Sure. Well, and I learned that too, Joey, from from your wife, because mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't realize I could use a price. You know what I mean? Like I did. I was using everything but the prior. I don't know what I was thinking. But as soon as she taught me that, I was like, oh, my God, yay. I was like, yeah. whoop de woo So, yeah. But it yeah, makes you I, think about was... bundling or increasing, going back and looking at your prices again and making sure that your prices are in line. You may have to up everything by a dollar or two to kind of compensate for the increase here and the dis, you know, discount there. So it's always a good time, to, especially at the beginning of the year, to kind of review your store, look at things, and, you know, give a fresh... Oh. Well, yeah. and, and Nana Tank brings up a good thing. I guess you could start doing lots. Like if I had all the same scrubs, same size, mm -hmm. maybe I'll start lotting them up in threes because then it would make the shipping more appropriate. That's actually a really good idea, Nana. Yeah, you could do free shipping on on Posh. It's just I would pay the seven yeah. eleven now instead of the six seventy nine. Right, which it would is, definitely come out. Yeah, still be deal. Yeah, but you got to like get I'm, low ballers. It's like and you're desperate for a sale. Right. <laughs> and you're already taking a low ball offer and then you gotta eat an extra thirty two cents on shipping. Yeah, that's kinda ouchy. And that if you kinda... guys are newer to Posh, I learned from Joey a couple weeks ago, maybe it was a month ago, <laughs> how to actually do bundles for people that like a lot of different things. I right. have actually been on the ball. It has been so easy. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Like I hesitated so much. I was like, "Oh that yeah, was I got to go." Who taught him? Yeah. Okay, so who? <laughs> Thank you. Me. Yeah. That's Patina. Yeah. So yeah, I've been doing it every time, and um, 
I don't think I've gotten any, but it's fun to do it. Yeah, like, it is. And when you do those bundles, it's easier to offer that free shipping, like, yes. in my gut. I'm like, well, if they buy five things from me, I'll just offer them free shipping. Yeah. And that's just like that one little, because I know it's only going to cost seven, well, now $7.11 to ship. So yeah. if you guys want to know how to bundle, like, if people like four or five of your items and you want to send them a bundle offer, go back mm-hmm. and look at some of the, the video that uh, Julie and Robin did a how long ago yeah. was that? A month Beginning ago? Beginning of the year. Oh it was our Poshmark yeah. Yeah, like, market yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. Go back and look at that one. And Joey shows you how to like offer a bundle mm-hmm. uh, to the to your likers. Yeah. yeah I, I learned guess, a lot you know, from his wife. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. It's awesome. I want to I wanna meet her. <laughs> Soon enough. That's come, awesome. Next time you're out here. Okay. Yeah, you will. For yeah, sure. You Good. Will. Yeah. And I guess, too, it, 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 you kind of have to look at the different marketplaces and see not everything is appropriate for every marketplace. Right. Right. So eBay, right. we obviously know sometimes you can get away with the lower items on there, under $10 items, under $15 mm-hmm. items. It's a great place to list those. But Poshmark might be your higher end items or your, your $25 or more items because of the, you know you know the fees that are coming out and you can see right. when you're listing it mm-hmm. exactly what you're going to make off a of sale. Yep. Uh, then like Macari or Grail, do you know those sites there that might be a little more niche or specific? Mm-hmm what the trends are so again just look at when you're listing an item is, is this item appropriate for three platforms two platforms one platform and just yeah. you know go well, from just there. like i have almost a thousand on ebay but i only have 500 on posh yeah and yeah, me too you know like yeah. a kid's mm-hmm. t-shirt that i would charge three dollars shipping on ebay i just haven't even bothered to cross post it to poshmark even though it's free i just haven't got that's like not a priority I did mm-hmm. all my heavy stuff. Went to Posh first. That's there like me. Go. Like my older stuff on eBay, I have not cross posted. But then when I start re, you know, like when it gets to the six month mark for me, when yeah. I start redoing the titles and the photos and, you know, reworking it or, or looking at the comps and thinking like, what? This just went from $80 to $10 on eBay. Right. right then right. I'll, I'll redo the photos and then switch them over to Posh or Macari or uh, Grailed. It seems, I'm just going to be really honest. Since I've learned Grailed, I got to tell you, a lot of my streetwear sale, sells very quickly on Grailed. And the goofier it is, like um, I had mm-hmm. some... Oh my gosh, I don't even know, like some crazy looking, and I thought, this is never going to, dude, it totally went for full price. So it was weird, I, and I, it's the same thing as Posh, you get the, the money happens just like Posh, so you sell, and then after so many days, and then it goes into your account, so I, I love it, and it doesn't cost anything. Right. Unlike Etsy, where I still haven't ventured out because you still have to pay, and even if you didn't sell it, you still have to pay. Okay. So it's like, I don't know, like, I, I just really want to get rid of my stuff. I don't want to, I don't, I, and this is just my way of selling. I don't like holding on stuff for like two or three years. I need this stuff to go because I have very limited space. And then my other problem is that I love to source. And I have a lot of people dropping stuff off at my house. So sourcing is never an issue for me. It's just space and then like it needs to go. And then like Joey and I have discovered things change in price. Like one day, you know, Ralph Lauren polo is going for a hundred and then two days, you know, two months later it's going for $50. And so then right. it's like, Oh crap, I got to get this stuff gone before it keeps dropping in yeah. price. Mm-hmm. So, you know, because each person does things differently and there's no right yeah. or wrong. It's like whatever your, your plan is. And my plan at the time when I started this was to get out of debt. And so now that I'm out of debt, I, well, I can't say that totally. Cause I have a, a $3,300 medical bill that I'm paying off now. But at the time before that bill came in, I, I then was debt free. Um, thanks to Joey and his, like, you know, just me learning. Um, I don't even like subliminally, like he'll talk and I'm like, Ooh, I gotta write that down. Ooh, I gotta write that down. Um, and this is before he and I even started this show. It was just where we would go to meet up and we chit chat and then yeah. he would share something or a tidbit and I would write it down. Um, so then I became, debt free but now my my it's changed again where now i've got some really great items but i've noticed that the market has dropped so now i've got to be like oh i gotta get this out before it drops again yeah yeah (laughs) you know it's hard to time it and i'm the same way but i've changed 
Like, right, you pivoted, I, I, yeah. I was just talking to somebody last week, and I'm like, I think I've been every seller that's been out there. I've been the disgruntled, I don't want your lowball offer. You offered mm-hmm. me 50. I'm going to counter offer 150. That'll right, show you. Right. I've been that seller. I've been the no yeah. returns, yep. five day handling yep. seller. Like when I did it part time when I worked full time uh-huh. and I didn't know. Right. Like I've been that seller. I've been yeah. like almost every sell, like all of the different personalities yes. of sellers. And I've done that. And I just posted yes. in a group um, my storage. Um, like yeah. what I do for storage and, and somebody's like, Oh, I want to be there. I was like, but you know what? I didn't start out like this. Like right. every year right. as I grow and change the way that I sell and the way that I list mm-hmm. changes and the way that my inventory changes. Mm-hmm. So oh my, my God, storage yes. changes, like it's just totally not agree. the same. And I didn't start yes. out like this. This is grew over time. Yes. So kind yes. of like listing, you know, I used to be, I'll hold on to it for five years and that's kind of shifted this past year. Right. And that was I, me too. That was me too. And I you used know. to look at, well, I want to be at the $60 ASP. Mm-hmm. And then I learned, okay, that's going to be for me where I'm at mm-hmm. and what I source. I'm like, that's a little bit harder, but I can, I can get stuff dirt cheap right. and sell it for $25 all day. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, right. um, and yes. it might be like when I was doing it part time, that wasn't worth my time. Right. right. And that made sense. Right. Mm-hmm. When I had mm-hmm. in my backyard, I could spend 10 and sell for 100. Right. That's what I wanted to right. do. Gotcha. Right. I don't have that here in Colorado. That's not feasible right. as a full time right. seller right you here. Had yeah. I had to pivot. So and that's a good as, point. And that's a good point, Liz. That you, cause you like you, you know, a very good point, because you moved right so yes. the same thing is we we interviewed sherry smith who's a multi yes uh, she just hit her million dollar yes. mark right oh i she had to, to pivot it. too she had to pivot too she wasn't when i knew when i first knew her she was only doing luxury items she was not doing industrial i learned on the show when we were interviewing her that she was doing industrial pieces yeah. of equipment <laughs> yeah and i was like telling joey afterwards like my god she just blew my mind like she was selling meat whatever uh-huh, grinders uh-huh, that weigh uh-huh. 1500 pounds and she's tiny she's this big and she's selling them for like oh i don't know 33,000 then we found out that she sold a car but she pivoted so that she could get to that point and then also right. she had to move so i get i totally i'm so that i'm so agreeing with you on the personalities i think i've been every single personality of a of re, a reseller um right. i just need to go for higher and, yes. and and I have less room because I'm trying to close down all of my storage units because again, as you know, Joey's not my financial counselor, um, but pro- by proxy. <laughs> right. So, you know, I, it's a cost that I need to get rid of because it, that money then can help me pay off the bill or whatever. So I need, I just look at it like, yeah, you're right. It's like, we constantly have to pivot, you know, during when these things happen. Cause I do, I don't sell things. I try not to sell right. things under $20, right? Like, because right. for me, the time, the, the, I don't, I just don't have the bandwidth to constantly take photos for something that's only $20 unless right. it was multiples. Like Joey did a palette and he has like, you know, let's say 20 shirts of the same <laughs> size. I know Joey laughs, but oh my gosh. I'm just saying, Joey, yeah, I know. if you had all Adidas and it was all the same size, I could see how camper. he would just take one, right? one pitcher and he would sell all 20 things right. and so now right. i have a chance of doing that later and doing vintage that way like uh you know what do they call it dead stock with the, the tags right. and stuff so th- I, I might pivot again and so i yeah i totally agree liz i totally agree yeah you think so, yes, on a conference so nana call. tink yeah i i just tried etsy this year as well i have one item up and I guess they charge you twenty cents at the end of the first month, but you can list it, have it up for four months. And yeah, so I'm one month in with my one item. Nice. Because <laughs> you have to list vintage clothing on there, and it has to be more than twenty years old. So the thing I had was vintage higher and vintage. So I said I'll throw it up on Etsy, see what happens there. Yeah. I got, I got nothing. Do you have Not, anything and, else well, that can go to Etsy? Probably. Yeah. Probably okay. a couple items, but. Uh, Again, it's my bandwidth. Yeah. Do I have the time right. to cross list yeah. and post it? I, yeah. I just don't. Mm-hmm. And I was using. And I think um, I remember, you know, something like Vendu. it's a number of games too, Joey. Yeah. Oh, Vendu. And I was using Vendu to do my cross list things, but okay. they, were, they were in beta 
and uh, my beta ended and now you have mm-hmm. to pay for it and apparently when I'm reading the boards there's a lot of problems since it went live oh. so I've just been waiting for stuff to, to fix but I have not tried this perfectly that's probably my next little yeah. test to see how that works yeah I hear that's okay. that's working really well for a lot of people mm-hmm. um, who do multiple um, but I think I mean I think it just depends on of how much you want to spend yeah. Like just like anything, they have different platforms, like you know, pro exactly. or you know, whatever. And so, um, I don't know what undercover thrifter means. We should have been on a conference call. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think just talking. Oh, so, oh, yeah. in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me get your last. Let me get your last two eBay items up here. Oh, gee. Oh, oh we're still over on that. Years. Hey, sorry, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, I was just looking at over the years, they sold eighteen hundred items. On Etsy. That is that's crazy. Rad. That's yeah. rad. I've never. I don't have anything to put on Etsy. I've thought about it every once in a while, and I might have one or two things that. Qualifies. Yeah, I was going to say, Tim, what exactly? Well, maybe don't tell me exactly what you're selling, but is it mostly clothing, hard goods? It's obviously vintage. Oh my yeah, gosh! Is it that's, housewares? That's is it glassware? Yeah, what is that's it? That's cool. Homemade. Tim is the Etsy king. Good job, Tim. Etsy. I'm going to be really honest. Intimidates the crap out of me. Never bought or sold on Etsy. Yeah. Oh, I bought. Yeah. I buy a lot on Etsy, but I I, I, I take that back. I have bought on Etsy before. Mm-hmm. I have yeah. bought on Etsy. Yep. All right. Let's I see here. It. Okay, Joey's kind of fine. Like, see, I tried it. it. Did my five, and then I think it's worth for me. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm loving those. <laughs> those are amazing. Right? That's rad. They're amazing. <sighs> oh, glass. So, long story short, <laughs> that was a big sigh, Liz. Oh my, <laughs> those are amazing, aren't they? They are amazing. Yeah, as soon as I um, came on to the live and you popped up, I got a return request for them. Oh, <laughs> dang it! They didn't say they were clown shoes. They just said they were too small. Oh, crap. I know. It's. I mean, that's just what happens when, especially in clothing and shoes. Yeah, just make sure it, she it's, didn't wear it. It just what is, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and how much did you sell them for? It looks like seventy or eighty or oh, the... so. No, that I took a best offer for fifty, or I sent an offer to oh, watch. Oh, good. Her. Okay. So seller initiated offer. I think I sold those for fifty. All you guys have to do is, um, I don't do it. It's everywhere. <sighs> I got those at a great like, again pennies on the dollar. I love it. Nice. Yeah, but return request. It, you know what? But they're gonna sell again. I'm not worried about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It happened. And that was on eBay. Was that That's was eBay. eBay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah but Academy they're pretty cost, amazing. Yeah. It's like super. But have you cross posted on Posh yes. with those yet? Oh, yes. okay. Because I think those will do really well there too. Yeah, they were there. Salsa, huh? Oh, I don't know. I thought somebody was talking to Joey. It's, see, I'm telling you, the chat is on its own track. It's so cool. Right. They're like, that's cool, Vendo. The, they're talking about yeah, glass. The, Kent, the, so Kent, what, Kent was selling just, or uh, not Kent, excuse me, Tim, was glass. That's what oh. he was making the money on. Yeah. Just so you know. So that's good to know for me because I do sell a lot of glass. Those are pretty. I, they, I do agree, Tim. Those shoes are pretty badass. The, the, the star. I would rock those, except yeah. for I don't have a size 7 shoe. <laughs> They're not I'm just fit saying, <laughs> I got some big old clod hoppers. <sighs> yeah, so those are coming back. So if you see them and you like them, just text me and send me an yeah. email, make me an offer. <laughs> so did you have to pay shipping back on those? Or, no. or did they? Yeah. No. Okay. And and on those heavy items, I do charge shipping. I there's very yeah. few items that I do free shipping on. Um, right. it, it really depends on the item. Yeah. And the competition on eBay. Right. I get it. So. I get it. Yeah. And you said you paid yeah. cents on the dollar on that? Like, Pennies. that's rad. Yeah. Yeah. Pennies. Pennies on the dollar. So, Tracy. See, I said, love that. That's it's awesome. Yeah. Tracy said Go one ahead, of her Nancy. songs came on, so she had to dance around the house for a bit. <laughs> for some reason, when she said that, I pictured one of her. I, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but for, I, it, let me know what song it was if you want in the chat, but. I had this feeling it was like walking on sunshine. Oh. <laughs> I could just picture Tracy like going you know, crazy with that song. I, I don't know. So, Noxy Nox um, asked hey, if I sailed on Grailed. 
if I sell on Grailed, I started, I did a couple listings on Grailed probably three or four years ago, probably four yeah. years ago. And it was like just a small, um, like at the height, not even at the height, but when mm -hmm. um, All Saints was like at the oh, peak yeah. and it started coming down, um, I got a great deal and I put it all, all these men's All Saints items on Grailed. And I was getting offers for like five and ten dollars. It was like five items, so I gave up. Um, yeah, yeah. But honestly, I I have more men's stuff now, so I probably should try it out again. You should because yeah. I was listening to okay guys in the chat. Help me out with this guy's name. Is it Chris? Is it Chris the one that had the rad shirts during the Australian auction? Mm -hmm. Was that the guy? Sure okay, not. so I've been listening to him a lot. And though I can't always be for their marathon 10 hour uh, chit chats, um, but he has so much good information. And so I, I really was like, I was listening one day and listening and I was writing down a lot of his notes about Grailed. And as soon as I got done after a couple hours, I decided to try it out within like two days. I sold three hats Wow! and crazy hats, like baseball hats, like hats, like for 35, $40, like they would sell for $10 on eBay and nothing on posh. And on Grailed, I, I, boom. So I have a handful of hats. I should probably try that. Oh yeah, and yeah. I'm telling you, anybody in the chat, besides you know, because everybody here probably already listens to him. Thank I'm, you, Liz. You got to check this guy yeah. out. Yeah, this guy is amazing to listen to. He knows his vintage. Like he could tell a label from like a mile away. I love it. With that. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, that's it, that's it, Kent. What's his name again, Joey? I always say Kernanch, <laughs> and I don't even know what that's. There you go. Yeah, gonna... Joey and his wife tell me like 45 times every time I'm face to face with them because I always say like, oh, Chernotch or Chernooch or Ch <laughs> it's like I can't even get it right. You know, the Chris, the Chris. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a link to his channel in the chat, but everybody here probably already follows. Yeah. 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 There you go. I love All it. All right. So we got one more item for you here. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I don't you remember. remember. Oh, you don't remember? <laughs> It's a surprise. I, I'm going to put something that's probably not yours. Watch. That'll be funny. It's Lobsta. That Lobsta. How you doing, Lobsta? Oh. Again, we talked Ooh. about the um, bins Ooh. and the girl that went, ew. I recognize Dang, this pattern okay. immediately as a Pottery Barn pattern. Yeah. Um, it's a Pottery that's Barn duvet. That's awesome that you know that. Yes. So it this sold in less than a week. Wow. That's awesome. This is, and this was in the bins? This is at the bins. This is the one that the girl was like, ew. Because ew. she didn't like the colors. I think she was looking for $10 stuff to sell on Poshmark. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I, um, who knows? But I mean, but it's dang. in great condition. It's beautiful. I mean, the colors are vibrant. It immediately stuck out I to me. Um, this is the one mm -hmm. that somebody's like, uh, this sold for $40 on Mercari. I was like, that's nice. Did you buy oh, that's it? Nice. I'm getting ninety. Right, and yeah. then the next Did you day, buy it? I took an <laughs> offer for I think eighty bucks. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Now let me ask you this, Liz, just for people I love in the linens. chat too. Yeah. How did you do you did you look up patterns for Pottery Barn? Like did you I mean how did like for obviously from a distance you knew? Is it just something that you've learned along the way? Like you're like, ooh, that's definitely a Pottery Barn. Yeah. So and. <laughs> It's time. This is kind of one of those things. And you know, Robin and Joe, you're learning as time goes on, you just learn. And I don't know how right, to right. explain it. I love that. But Robin, like, you know, I know Joey, that I've learning. seen this problem. But, but <laughs> Joey, in five years, in five years, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember one time three years. Okay, maybe your brain doesn't work that. But my brain, like, it's like, hey, one time three years ago, I was reading a message. And I remember that. Yes. Like, it, like, clicked in my head. That, you know, quite yeah. a few years ago, somebody sold this. Right. Mm -hmm. And they shared right. it somewhere. So it. Yeah. sometimes bolos aren't immediate or when you see it enough or when you feel mm -hmm. the fabric enough or whatever. Um, but, you know, I immediately came home and I think that I didn't know the pattern name. I didn't know what to call it, but I knew enough to look up Pottery Barn Floral right. Tree Duvet. Right. Right. That's awesome. And that's – and I and then I click on Images – and I always just go straight to Google. I don't even start off. On and well, eBay. and you use also just mm -hmm. to be, uh, just because we're talking about keywords and stuff like that too. You also use duvet. I've also found linens on eBay. Then people don't use the right 
words and right. I can get it super cheap. So I kind of like snake it before people. So you guys, the reason, you know, I, if you guys don't know, and the, I'm sure the women in the chat know duvet versus a comforter. Um, duvets sell really well. The covers sell really well. So um, I said, uh, what's so funny is I sell most of my Pottery Barn duvets to Europe. Oh, that's because they use well they use duvets they I mean, yeah. they buy like, like an ikea comforter which is really boring and white and la mm -hmm. and then they buy american pottery barn duvet covers mm -hmm. cuz they love the you know the patterns so pro tip about tanks oh stick with cotton <laughs> I know, but you're right. I, I was just curious because I know, like, for example, when I go sourcing with Vicky, um, she's a linen girl, too. She, oh, my from a gosh. Away, she can, she can yeah. do the beater lacquer or the beat whatever those blankets <laughs> yes. are way before me, and I could have right. passed it. Right. Yeah, she's the she's the one that taught me the, um, you know, uh, cop a feel when you walk down the aisle and you cop a feel on the, on the fabric. Mm-hmm. Because you can tell she, she's really good about like, ooh, that's like that's really good fabric, that's good leather, that's good denim, that's good bark cloth, that whatever. And so I call a cup of feel. Um, so yeah. I don't have to go through every single like shirt, mm -hmm. you know. So that's how I've gotten a lot of good things too, just by cup of feel. Uh, linens, I kind of already knew linens just because I collect vintage. Um, but the beater lacquer or whatever those dang blankets yeah, are called, right. I didn't know anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, what are these? Right. Um, I still have yet to get one. That's on my, I don't know about anybody else in the chat and you, Liz and Joey, but I have a unicorn list and on the unicorn right. list is the beater lacquer blanket. Um, there's some uh, glass, vintage glass that I'm looking for. And then obviously the Holy Grails and Tiki I'm looking for mug wise, you know, things like that. So I don't know about it. Right. Does anybody else have like a, a, a unicorn list that they're looking for that one piece that is like, I'm going to sell that if it just like drives me crazy. I'm going to sell a beater lacquer or whatever those dang blankets are called right. <laughs> one day. And here I, I have one in a bin and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an eagle one too. Look, but here's Is the it? thing. Here's the thing. I could maybe get $25 at best for it. If I really? were to send it to Vicky, bad? she could probably get a hundred bucks for it. But, it's, but wait, let's <laughs> figure that out. Let's do a Vicky versus a Liz. Like what? Why oh, though? Vicky's Is got it hands down. I don't even know why. <laughs> but that's maybe because she's got a repeat buyer. Do you know what I mean? That could like be maybe, it. You know what I that mean? That could be it. But is it because maybe keywords? Maybe look on her sold and see like if you can keyword it, you know, or sell similar. Yeah. Is it, is it trash? I think, is your I think trash? mine's just more worn than I wanted it to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it probably still sell, Liz. Probably like for seven. It will. Bucks. It will. You know what? It's kind of one of those things. Again, pennies on the dollar. I might just put it up on auction. Something crazy, right. stupid. Let it go for seven days and see what happens. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, somebody just said cool. something about teak shoes. Yes, teaks. I have never found teaks either. That's kind of yeah. on a bucket list. Right. I get it. Let me, okay. Sorry. I think I just went. Yeah. Sorry. I hit, I hit the wrong button and a little thingy popped up and I was okay. like, what is happening? Um, <laughs> yeah. I love it. So Sweet. what do we, I lost my chat. Yeah, what happened? Oh, see, I did a, I did a Liz. <laughs> Mine keeps disappearing every really? once in a while. So yeah. No, no. It'll I, just it switch back. over to the other. It was weird. Yeah. Mm. That's so funny, but it's all back now. So we're good. You guys have the. I love it. So uh, you see that? So you see the comments on your right side? Yeah, you correct. See the private chat now. And I just, too. yeah, yeah. I just did something. I think I hit the wrong thing. Ugh. I don't know cool. what's happening there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool. cool okay, cool. good. All right. Well, let's. An hour and fifty minutes, but let's. Jeez, you guys, I'm sorry. I no, no, talk no. A lot. no awesome. <laughs> don't be sorry. Oh no, don't it's be sorry. Fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Um, this is the resellers. Uh, inside the reselling community, our weekly show with our guests. Uh, this week has been with Liz O'Kane from Colorado Reworn, um, telling us all about her sales and story and Poshmark and returns and clown shoes and <laughs> <laughs> everything under the sun. Um, so we appreciate you guys hanging in there for that. What we're going to do is just kind of give a, a, a kind of a hard break here, give a couple second pause, and then um, come right back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be here. So thanks again for hanging in there, and uh, we'll see you next week. Or actually, our next show is on Friday night on YouTube at 6 p.m. 
um, for our resellers online drinking coffee or wine or whatever you want to drink. So, <laughs> thanks again, but uh, hang in the chat. We'll be back in a second. Yeah, hang in the chat, you guys. Thank you. Bye. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. So I, I have to do a hard pause there so I can cut it for audio. Yeah. And then we could just chit chat about whatever going forward. Right. <laughs> so Everybody in the chat off. is like they're expecting us to drop out. I know. I wasn't drop. quite sure. No, no. I was I'm like, like, should I start typing? Like, no. Yeah, see, now no, I can no. just I can just talk over you guys. It doesn't really matter. So I can yeah, be yeah, unprofessional yeah. as I want to be. Just keep talking. <laughs> yeah, you're so, so funny, Joey. It's very funny. So yeah. But that's what I was gonna say. You know, and I'm, I'll put it in chat probably too. Mm -hmm. Is you know, don't forget about meetups. I saw yeah. some Colorado oh, yeah, people forget. in there. Come up to Denver yeah, for yeah, August yeah. 20th. Seriously, um, I'll throw it out there. And any meetup coordinators that are listening, um, Lori and I up in Denver have kind of talked, and we want to kind of put together something. These events are only three hours. Um, we mm -hmm. want to kind of put this, we had, I mean, it's still a long ways away, but we're talking about, it would be nice for us to put together something either before or after meetup. Maybe we can hang out during the day to kind of make a full day out of it, especially for those that are coming in, Yeah, um, you know, four or five hour drive. Let's, let's sit down and talk a little bit longer. We don't know. We're going to throw something together. Cool. So right. yeah, next time I, I actually just have a video I pop up as like a little intermission, like let's all go to the lobby kind of like <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. Let's go to the lobby. Yeah. And I realized we did a show last week and I was like so ready for the podcast part of it and then we ended up being a five hour show and I'm like I can't Oh my do a, gosh. I can't do a five hour podcast and then by the time I got to the point where I could cut it, I'm like then I have to record an outro and then it doesn't sound I, let me just see if I can do it this way and then I can just cut the audio after it's a lot easier for me to when there's a pause so i'm sorry yes. we may not do Don't that all the sorry. time we'll just figure out how it goes no no it's it, it's you know it yeah. is what it is it, essentially when you're long. doing broadcasting Ooh. and you have a top of the hour mm -hmm. break coming up you always they always reset if you listen to the radio yes. they always reset for yeah pause for station identification they always reset yourself so and i always see, think, I think you start doing that at the beginning of the hour so like cut it right. for well and i think periods. out of everybody in this chat we're the only ones who do a bod podcast so they kind of you're learning something new you know as we go yeah. you guys will know like if you start doing a podcast that's what you kind of kind of do because nobody's going to listen to five hours of you know us of, well of <laughs> spooky things and, and coffee and no. you know that's why you got to tune into the lives and watch but yeah yeah lives are fun that way because then you get to see the chat and it just goes different direction and i love it yeah did uh, yeah. liz did joey tell you that okay so I, I wasn't here in town we did try to do a live with me coming in but uh yeah, that particular day i was there I think they did like a marathon oh you were in the chat oh, okay good. i think that's what I, somebody's like hey pop on and i'm like dude i'm in my jammies drinking wine in the recliner <laughs> I'm just following chat today. I'm just doing chat, dude. I'm just doing chat. <laughs> and, I, and I think I tapped out at about the two-hour mark. My husband's like, what are you doing yeah. over there? Because everyone's they went, had like, my headphones in. And I would, yeah. like, chuckle. He's like, what? And I'm like, oh, nothing. I, nothing. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. get it. It's right. Too. I'm like, you don't get it. What? How many hours did you go, Joey, on that particular live? Um, so Wednesday we did five. And then yeah. last Friday we did four. Yeah, and then the week long. before, I think we did six. The Friday before. Yeah, it was a long. It was a long time. Yeah. And then Oof. on the Monday, we we kind of went like long too. Yeah, almost. It's two like hours. yeah, Mary. We will actually. It's a good idea. There is actually a link that Joey dropped in the Ecom 101 podcast Facebook that you can also go. And then also on um on the video on the he's got the links down there below too. There you go. On the There's video the that seller drops. event page. Yeah. So, so that should it's be there. there. Yeah. And on that page, you have to scroll like, you know. to and go to eBay community events on that one. And that is the um, eBay affiliated meetup groups that are on there. But right. like Liz was saying earlier, there's there are some that are probably specifically not eBay affiliated or eBay community event stuff that's on here. Like, right. I don't know how you get on here. Our meetup's on here. Couple other locations are on here too, so I guess you have to just submit your information to eBay to list it. Otherwise, check um, meetup.com. Yeah. yeah, or you know, in certain groups they advertise their meetups. You know that kind of. Yeah, thing. but you may not be and in you, all these different know. groups, so 
exactly. the source might just be meetup.com or I think um, community also had a, a link as well in eBay community but I'm not yeah community.ebay.com and there I know that there's a lot of great uh, like unofficial mm -hmm. eBay meetups and right. the criteria is they might not be on meetup.com Correct. On that actual website, and they do meetups, Correct. and I've been to a couple of them. Uh, so go to Facebook and just type in eBay Meetup. Yes. Or eBay I was just going to say that, Liz. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then your town, or go to Google and do your town, and they, there might be a Facebook group or some other unofficial group that meets. Oh, I see what Mary's saying. Mary's saying on your break, you know, when you do your heart break, you could do a scrolling ah, yes. of the meetups. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just have it scroll really down the middle of the page. Like a, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh a, lot of, gosh, it's a lot of work to get that stuff done. <laughs> it is, yeah. And his bandwidth <laughs> is getting smaller and smaller. I got to create these it. things in another program and pop them up. Yeah. You guys ask a lot yeah. of them. Yeah, like Mary yeah. said, they don't do Meetup because of the cost. And mm -hmm. that's that's one of the many reasons that people don't use Meetup.com. Um, right. So I'm like ours is on Meetup.com. Mm -hmm. Ours also has a Facebook group and ours also has an Correct. Instagram. So and I, hopefully and I think that we can I, meet, reach everybody. Yes. Well, I'm definitely, I think that's a really good piece of advice, a pro tip. I would definitely just put in Meetup in the Facebook bar, you know, at the oh, top. Yeah, yeah. And just put like, you know, I know Vicky has one for Vegas. Yep. I know there's some unofficial in the Southern California. So like LA area, there's some, you know, I mean, who knows? They're all over and there's going to probably be one soon. And, you know, in my area soon. Oh, I think that was weird. Wow. Marie. <laughs> I think it's talk about the record for the longest meetup here. It's, it's uh, 24 hours for one person. A 24 hour live stream. So this is what's so hours? funny is like when I'm in here with you guys, I feel like it's just like a bunch of friends hanging out. It's exactly what that is. Yeah. Right? That's why it's so easy. Yeah. It's so – well, yeah, Mary, but you've been in broadcasting. You should reach out to Joey and teach him some stuff. Yes, please. He, I, 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 he's I he's the dude help. to – he like he's techie. He's techy enough to pick up on it. It's just that, you know, with all his side hustles and then his main gig, I'm which soaking is soaking it coaching, all in, so – He's got to work the fly. around things. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine exactly. how much time goes into, especially because, Joey, you do not only the lives, mm -hmm. but you also do the podcasts. Like, if I miss a live, I know that I can go on iTunes. Yeah. Like, because when I walk the dogs, I listen to podcasts. Like, right, me it, too. And I've looked into it in the mm -hmm. past, and I'm like, dude, I can't commit. I, like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> like, it some is. people just don't. It's a lot of work that you put into this. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I try know. my best. <laughs> he's, yeah. the, he's the guy who like techie guys, so he loves it. Like, we talked about this on the last episode. I just felt the way our direction of our show was in the beginning, where it was more like a teaching type of show and not a show off our soul and we've shot our souls on a Mondays now and stuff like that but sure. our original original thought was um, to be more like a teaching show for me to get out there and kind of teach the financial aspects of things I wanted to just have us everywhere so yeah. basically anywhere to serve you anywhere you want to listen to us you can find us we're now um, iHeartRadio Pandora um, Spotify yeah. Stitcher iTunes mm -hmm. anywhere you want to listen online and some of these podcast networks I never even heard of like Pocket Casts and some other things. Right. We're on there. So you can find us any of these sites you want to listen to. And then, of course, live here or, you know, in the Facebook groups and anywhere else. So you never have to feel like if you miss a live show, yeah, you miss the chat and the fun stuff that's bouncing back and forth. But you never have to worry about missing the content. You can listen to right, it anywhere, right. watch it anywhere, and then right. jump right back into the next show and you pick up right where you left off. And I just I felt that that was um, important for me to kind of be out there and Robin too, just to make sure that. We're there. You want to hear us? You hear us? You're... So sometimes it's it's a um, – I think we talked a little bit with Tommy last uh, in the last chat. It's a little bit of pulling in different directions, right? Yeah. So, for example, on YouTube, to get monetized, you need to have 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 right. hours of watch time in a year. It's crazy. Right. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> know. But it's crazy. We're, we're getting there slowly. <laughs> However, I notice a lot of our shows have – you know. Right now, in the last couple of weeks, two to three hundred views in a lot of hours, which is great. But then the podcast also has between 100 and 200 listens, so we're hitting right. five, four, five, six hundred people just separately. So, right, it does help when we want to get monetized or bring a brand partner in later on and talk about uh, getting them involved in either the show or the podcast. 
I can show statistics and say, yeah, we have 300 people watching. We have another 200 people listening also. So you're going to be heard in different spots and different areas rather than just two or 300 online. It kind of spreads us. But it does yeah. sort of feel like, man, if those people that are listening just watched or maybe subscribed, if they don't subscribe, then they would build this. So it's sort of like building different things really slowly. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I feel like it's good for us to be everywhere. Yeah, yeah and I do too. That on top of your Facebook and your Twitter – or not mm -hmm. Twitter, but um, Instagram. I don't know if you're on yeah. Twitter or not. I kind of gave yeah. up on Twitter. I'm sorry. Yeah. But you're yeah. right. There is different audiences for different things. Like yeah. IG pulls in certain things. Uh, I find that's a younger audience. And then um, yeah. it's interesting mm -hmm. to hear Joey talk about the podcast. Like I didn't realize that there are just podcast listeners versus yeah. YouTube watchers. So that's that was fun for me to listen to or hear. And then um, same with the Facebook group so the facebook group we've decided to like make it kind of like an after hour you know like a kind of like a studio time like after a show or something and we come in and drop in certain things from the show or tidbits from our guests or something that joey you know or uh, our, our mods have mm -hmm. found interesting and it seems like that's how we get the engagement because each each facebook group is really different too i've noticed like we're yeah. less of a research group. Like we don't drop stuff into research. It's more about, uh, I want to say political, but more e-com uh, news. And I find that a lot of people come there to find out eBay news because we kind of, Joey and I are kind of in the know um, now probably more than ever because <laughs> there, things have changed so yeah. quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I, it's okay. I mean, I think well, that's what I was going to, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because I think, you know, I think it's just, it's necessary to have all these different types. Yeah. You know, um, but we're definitely, I know Joey and I are definitely, and same with you, Liz, we're definitely all about the meetup part. Because for me, yeah. I wouldn't have met Joey and his wonderful wife without meetup and other people and my, you know, I, meetup to me was kind of the doorway to opening up to knowing that I am, there are people who are just like me. Right, right. Like, right. You know, and have the same pain points you know either be how do I start my financials do I need to do an LLC or a whatever or, or do I need to do this or how do I get out of debt or how do I make sure that I pay myself you know that kind of thing right so you know yeah so, yeah, yeah and I like I said I've met like um just so many great people through meetup um, right and just right. in the local community and like like I said we've got a Denver meetup that's an hour away we've got another so people think I thought even Colorado Springs is just teeny tiny, right? Like that's probably yeah. what you think, right? Mm -hmm. And right. which compared to California, yes, we are. But we also have another meetup in on the other side mm -hmm. of Colorado Springs. I can drive 27 miles south of me and still be in Colorado Springs. 27 miles south oh, on yeah. the interstate okay. and still be in Colorado Springs. See, you wow. guys are spread out really wide. We, that's why I, I mean, we have a Colorado. lot of land, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but uh, but there is a need. Right? Mm -hmm. Like if Denver, mm -hmm. just an hour north, has 25 plus people coming every right. month. And right. I've grown, I mean, like our last meetup was 20 people. And and granted, right. like some of the people from Denver come down here. Um, I've right. been up to Denver. We like to support each other we because we have different topics. Um, right. I like right. to go shopping in Denver. Some of the Denver people like to come shopping down exactly. here. Exactly. You know? Well, um, I travel two and a half to three hours to San Jose. I mean, now yeah. that I'm part of a team... You know, they rely on me to come, right? But before that, I was coming because I liked the – this particular meetup is we're, – we're at headquarters, so we get a very different perspective. Yeah. And I felt like I was – it was more um, – I could get onto the beta programs. I could ask the questions straight to yeah. the executives or the the people, the employees. Um, you know, now I've been to, like, several meetups. You know, I've been up to Roseville. I've been down to Southern California when I've been down to Disneyland. Um it's amazing. Each meetup is completely different. And yeah. I like the fact that, um, unfortunately our meetups, we have to stay with eBay, right? We can't right. talk about posh. We can't talk about Amazon yet. Uh, yeah. that's because we're at headquarters, <laughs> right? Right. But when I go down to Southern California and I go, I I'm learning a lot of stuff. Like I, there's Amazon as a whole nother beast. And I'm just like, wow, like right. people are crushing it on Amazon or posh. Like it's a good mm -hmm. thing that Joey's wife is very uh, scripted and posh. Yeah. Um, it's kind of her thing. It's her jam. I, I've been able to reach out to her when I've been like, there's been times where I'm a little freaked out. Like I had a bundle that was done and I had no idea. Like it went over the five pounds 
pounds. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? And, you know, she walked <laughs> me through that, you know. That's awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and the same thing with the the actual learning how to bundle, which Joey and I did live on the, you know, on yeah. YouTube. But that was thanks to her because she kind of, I don't know, it's just her, you know, everybody has their niche, right? Their jam. Right. And so it's kind of her jam. So I kind of feel lucky that, you know, I can either like reach out to her and say, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? And why am I not getting any solds or yeah. what is happening? <laughs> so Joey, does your wife do like, cause I know you guys talked about going to the mm -hmm. posh fest, but has she been to the posh and sips? Has she been to like different? No, posh we have not. Or? The okay. only posh thing we've been to was the Poshmark birthday festival they had. That's what it was. Go. Not posh yeah. yeah. Which was just so out of our element. Okay. I um, think that yeah, I, I was gonna, what, um, yeah, I was yeah, just, yeah, I, I was gonna say, what did you go to? It wasn't a posh and sip, it was a posh fest, right? Or was it a it posh, was posh birthday, uh, posh turns well, eight right. or that's posh right. turns seven or whatever, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was just crazy. And, um, You're what so they mean, advertised you know, it to be was not what it ended up being, right? My, that was interesting. Me. They're talking about like, we're yeah. gonna be able to talk about closets, meet with this, and it was just like nothing, none of that happened, and it was just. It was just all like loud music and it, like it was a club setting and stuff. So I was like, "Okay, here we'll be here for a little bit and we'll leave." <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically just sat around, just waiting to see if we could talk to somebody. But you're not going to go up to somebody you don't know and scream in their face, "Hey, how are you?" Yeah. Over music, so it's just. But I yeah. understand there's the posh and sips at Starbucks and stuff like that now, or they have and or posh coffee. I don't know what they call them, but they yeah, have them at Starbucks posh and, and stuff. Sip Sip coffee editions. Yeah, yeah. So they have them yeah, at the yeah. Starbucks. We haven't been to any of those yet. Um, because, quite honestly, a lot of these things for us are early. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. You know, like well, you guys have like 13 other gigs going yeah, on. Yeah. So my, yeah, my time frame is I'm just like getting started now to like two, three in the morning. And then, you know, I work a weird hourly, weird yeah. shifts and stuff. So 10 o'clock in the yeah. morning is tough sometimes. <laughs> Well, sure. Or if you're on a gig, you know, you're doing yeah. your other job. So, yeah. Yeah. Totally, so, but I, totally. we will get to one soon probably just to check it out. But Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, there's also Tennessee too. Like, it's mm -hmm. going to be interesting once you guys move to Tennessee. Like, if what? you guys start a meetup. Some point soon. Oh, maybe yeah, I missed that. I oh, no, no. You didn't miss okay. anything. Okay. 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 Have I you call not it been the. watching the, the last few episodes, Liz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like the Joey Patina three-year program, like yeah. I, you know. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because we were supposed to move last year and then yeah. it didn't, and then this last year where we're at has just been a total nightmare. So it's kind of no. motivated yeah. them. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And I think they want to start their. Yeah. You know, buying a house. Literally, like thing. we were at our in our place now for. Seven, six, six. Give me one second. Is it really been real seven, quick. Joey? No, no, it's been. Oh my gosh. 14 years? Wow. You've been Four at your place for yeah, 14 four years. 14 years. And the first 13 years have been amazing. Perfect. Wonderful. No problems, really. And the last, we were supposed to move, didn't sign our new lease. And pretty much the day after we signed our new lease was, it's been a nightmare every day ever since. Uh, and that's because of the, the teams changed, right? Or the, the, they always keep bringing in new team. management. Um, I did not know you guys were there that long. Yeah. That's a maze balls. We had guys. our stove. We had a stove break and, and then and then crack and blow up. Right. Uh, you had a fire it, almost. That took a month or so to like get a new stove. We had a bathroom that had a leak that took a month to get mm. fixed with mold everywhere. Mm. We had another leak from upstairs when they were turning over units. We had a neighbor take stuff off our patio and throw it onto the driveway and bang oh on our door gosh. all hours of the night and called he called the cops on us one time because we were um he said we were harassing him but we weren't even home <laughs> like we Sorry. weren't home we got, we got home at like one o'clock in the morning went right to bed like, literally at happening? like seven o'clock in the morning there's a knock on the door and it's the cops my wife answers the door and she's like oh we got a noise complaint from like, dude we we just literally got up so what like noise are you talking about? Noisy? Like, what us. are you talking about? Yeah, but he had, I know. he had some sort of, uh, he had a Mental. breakdown, and they couldn't do anything about it because in California, uh, they're very protected yeah. in once they're uh, the rental, right? The the right. resident was protected, so they had to go this long, drawn out process to um, right. get him out. So in the meantime, we literally, the way our unit is set up, you walk up a flight of stairs, and there's two units, and it's us and him. That's it. 
So he was always coming on our front, knocking on our door, leaving stuff by our front door, yelling and screaming, banging things, and like taking stuff off our patio, and throwing it into the driveway below, and and every time we complained, oh, wow. they're like, "Oh, there's really nothing we can do about it." Do about it. He's protected. Oh, man. I said, well, what, what, "I'm not protected." Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's California. It's so crazy. So it's, yeah. it's been. You can it's always been come to Colorado. I so that's the second person. I, I can hang out with you and Sherry Smith. I can throw yes, houses. Yes. Hopefully Sherry, hopefully she's listening or she sees this and I really yeah. hope she's coming to up front. I talked to her for like a, a hot minute at the last open and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, because she's up in the Denver area. Yeah, you and should I'm reach like, out oh, to her. Man. Yeah, that. I really want to. I really want to. Um, yeah. I think that would be amazing. I want to talk to her again. And um uh, fat girl. So she even said Springs is slowly, slowly growing into the Denver direction. And mm-hmm. I've only been here five and a half coming up on six years. And it's, I can see it. I'm on the North right. end of Colorado Springs, which goes into Denver and it's just kind of all right, bleeding right. together these last couple of years. Um, but it's or, nice that you guys have different pockets though. So people yeah. can like, you know, when you said 23 miles, like I like the fact that you could go to yours or you could go to the one down 23 miles from like, Yeah. You know so I mean? like, like I do on mine on nice. weekdays between three and four thirty. you know, it depends. We like, we're still new, so we don't have like a set date and time yet, which we're going to work oh, on. You know, yeah, we're just yeah. trying to figure things out, but we know it's going to be on a weekday and we know it's going right. to be between the three and four mark. We meet at the library. We have an amazing library here. Um, mm-hmm. it, our, our library system is amazing here. Um, and then I know the other one that meets in Colorado Springs, uh, Robin Gammy, she is doing a weekend meetup. Oh. And I know in Denver, they are meeting on Saturday. I'm sorry, Lori. They meet on Saturdays. I know their last one was on a Wednesday, but I think it was just a shift, um, like yeah. a temporary shift. Mm-hmm. Um, so right. it's really good because you have choices, and that's what I tell everybody. Come to one, come to two, come yes. to three. Like if you can't yes. make a Saturday, make a Wednesday. If you can't make a Wednesday, make a Sunday. It, right. Come to one, two, or three. Travel, right. well, shop, like, you know, make friends. Yeah. 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 Definitely pivot on your on your meetups. I, yeah. I it. So, yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. So, well, Liz, have you, know you what? have you ever been to? Oh, uh, I don't know. How you said you're about an hour from Denver. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna ask you two part question. One, is there an actual town of South Park? You know, you're gonna embarrass me. <laughs> I am such a homebody. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't get out much. Wait, I, no but I think that there is. I I have no idea. And then and like Greeley and stuff like that. Those are. Greeley, I know, I, okay. I know Greeley's there. And have you ever been to Casa Bonita? Um, so, no. I've heard of that. <laughs> but I've been accidentally next door to Casa Bonita because there's an ARC thrift store right next to Casa Bonita. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I went to that Casa Bonita and my, my son, who at the time was like 20, 21, he's like, Mom. Now you, you got to ask why, though. Why, Joey? What, what's happening in these towns? These That's cities? South Park. The show. Oh, the see, Bonita. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, South Park. <laughs> Leave it to Joey. So yeah, yeah like, okay. like I've already always heard of Casa Bonita. I've like from South Park and from military members that are like, oh, if you're in Denver, you need to go to Casa Bonita. Not thinking. We roll up into this arc. My son's like, "Mom, I got your back. Put your coat under your purse, right?" Like he's like, "All pretty." He's like, "Lock the door," because it's kind of a rough area town, and so it's kind I of had sketch. this like. Oh, it's more than kind of sketch. <laughs> Girl, just ask anybody. Oh my god! That's oh, somebody hysterical. said yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an actual town of South Park. Um, <laughs> La Isla Bonita. Isla, yeah. yeah, no, it's um, it's right next to a thrift store. In okay. A, in a little bit of night. Ni- little Reb, nice is, is it exactly like the show where there's like cliff divers inside and everything else. I just, yeah. I just imagine. <laughs> Oh my god. See the big joke is like Casa Bonita if you if you want a cleansing diet, just go there. Okay. Oh. You lose fifty pounds. Like that's kind of the, oh the my joke. Gosh. Yeah. yeah we I, all have I've never been like there. that around us. I don't know, Noxie. She's saying it's kind of sketch, so you're gonna have to go like maybe at nine o'clock AM when <laughs> hey, all hey, the I crack survived. Are I survived. Yeah. I but it's because you, you were doing like ninja panda things. You're like, kung fu fighting. Well, she's, got mili- she's got military training in the back, yeah. of, back her up. Yeah. Yeah. See, little Reb, she's been to Casa Bonita. 
I know, yeah. I get it. I, okay. and somebody's like, I haven't been to Casa Bonita in 15 years. Wow. I know. That's yeah, like, we all have those places around us that are uh, cleansing places, right? You know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Joey, yeah. there's Colorado's always an option. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we vote, we actually, when we settled here, this is going to be a temporary place for us. We thought there was mm-hmm. going to be one yeah. more move. And we thought California, and it came about to the military so unpredictable my boss calls me in like a year after we got here he's like hey this is happening fast do you want to come to california with us and i was like crap i don't think i'm ready to move again like no (laughs) right and i was like dang and my son was going to college in la so it was so tempting yeah Yeah. and i was like should we go back to the central coast and that's when i dropped my retirement paperwork because i didn't want to move again Right, so, I bet. Yeah, I like could, I could have retired totally. on the Central Coast. Like I, we were there, right? Well, mm-hmm. the Central Coast, man, that's expensive, man. Oh, that's but like, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It is gorgeous. <laughs> but you live in a shack or a shanty, as they call it, a fishing shanty. No, no basement for you. No, no, no basements. Basement. No so way. we went from DC. We were in DC for three years with two mm-hmm. teenage boys in a row townhouse. Skinny, tiny, tall. Row town. In a ro- so you think of DC. We were on base, but we were in a row townhouse, right? And it was for the three of us. Whatever, we made it work. And we get to Colorado, and I had to like when I asked for a house under three thousand square feet, the realtor mm-hmm. basically laughed at me and it's like, "Yeah, good luck with that." <laughs> I'm like, "But I don't want a big house." Like, he's like, "You're not gonna find it." Wow. I was like, "Oh." So we've got a lot of space. Or, I mean, we found what we wanted, yeah. but but that's like the big difference, right? So then now I got used to the space, and you see, you know, I've got all these wrong side oh, no, toads I get it. and stuff. I get it. I was like, yeah. oh, I can't. I, I don't want to go back to. I don't want to go back to California. They don't have basements. Yeah. Like, nope. No nope. good. And you don't want to come back to California because the rent is skyrocketing. I mean, so I my live son in a lives in L.A. Room. Like, okay. oh, yeah, L.A., yeah. dude. The space there is ridiculous. I just drove through a couple of towns. I mean, like, you know, downtown L.A. You just oh posted God, from all, Burbank. The parking. I know. The parking. That's where my son's at. I, He's right outside of Burbank. It's oh, redonkulous. Cool. Yeah. It's redonkulous. So I was like, I could, I could come visit L.A., but I cannot live here. Yeah. Because yeah. everything goes up. Yeah. And there's no elevators. So, like, I'm thinking, like, wait a minute. You got to bring all your fifty pounds of grocery up the stairs on the fifth floor. You're out of your. You're out of your mind. Robin. You're out of your mind. Robin, <laughs> Robin, I'm in a house, right? And you're this is three mind. stories. I still have to go yeah, up three stories. Two. Right. Okay. Mine's two. But I'm sixty-seven hundred feet above sea level. I know, dude. I'm. <laughs> I, get just I get winded. I get winded, dude. Just I get winded just driving into you know your uh, air force base. Though I have to say it was a rad. It's so awesome Academy here, yeah. Yes. yeah. Somebody it, you asked, are a mile above. Yeah, we yes. are. We are. We're up there. Somebody asked my favorite place to live that I've lived oh, that in my Knox least. Knox. Yeah. Um. Gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> um. Favorite. It's true, can't we do a lot of favorite we place? Lot of tree I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Favorite place? Yeah, we've been so many great Ooh. places in each of them. Like we left DC, and DC was just amazing on so many levels. Right. But not yeah. when you have kids in school, and you're oh, yeah, trying to navigate the school system. Yeah. So yeah. that's what really sucked for us. But DC, like in a heartbeat, my husband and I talk. We're like, oh my gosh, like when we're in our seventies, that would be so cool, oh, right? That's interesting. Yeah. Because there's so many cool things to do in DC. Um, yeah. But then the central coast of California, it's easy living. Every time we go back to visit, like we've got family on the central coast, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you, once you get your toes in the sand, you're like, dang, I love it here. So I think what, it, what, you haven't lived anywhere long enough to get jaded by it. Right. So I've been at this address, my address <laughs> that I have now, five and a half years. Oh, that's pretty good. This is the longest I have good. ever held the same address in my entire life. Yeah, I was going to you say go. you're like me. I've we've never had shifted. an address for five years. Wow. In Where in the Central life. Coast are your family? Like when you say Central Coast, what are you talking about? Like San Francisco? Um, I've got going? friends in or family in Santa Maria, oh, in Santa Pismo Maria. Beach, okay. oh, Paso Robles. Rad. Yeah, mm-hmm. all all up and down. Uh-huh. Um, my sister in law works in Burbank, and my son lives in LA, just south of the Griffith Observatory. I yeah, forgot yeah. what oh, that's neighborhood. Up. Yeah. yeah. And so you said he, he went right to there. school down there. So he went. He's still his there, first. Yeah, his first two years outside of D.C., 
was at Occidental College okay. oh, yeah, in Eagle yeah, Rock. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. Um, so, and Joey, where was your favorite to place? Because you've moved. My I mean, least obviously... favorite, I'll put this in, I'll put this yeah, out there, yeah, my least that. favorite, simply because of the job and the weather, and yeah. we had never lived, was Nebraska. Oh, I agree. Oh, my God. I drove there. I'm not there sure and I that like, I could do it again. Like, we had great how friends in a good house, there? but my job mm-hmm. was really taxing, mm-hmm. and so all of that combined right. really made it right. probably our worst assignment. So mm-hmm. I'm not saying Nebraska's horrible, but just our experience oh, but I get with it. it's everything not your, together. It's not your jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your jam. Joey, what about you? What's your what's, Let's go with your worst. What's your worst place? I've only really lived in two areas, so... Oh really? Oh, I thought you were gonna say like four or five. I don't know. I don't know why I thought four or five. I lived in the same house I grew up in until I was eighteen. Then I moved out here. When you went to school, though, did you live on campus or did you live? No, I never lived on campus. Always lived off. But like as far as like locations, it's always been in California, basically within. Oh, I see. Okay. Ten miles of each other. Okay, and you can't say you didn't like in Jersey. Six months I lived in Gilroy, but other than that up in the Bay Area. I love Gilroy. Driving through there, that garlic Gilroy's hits you good. in the face. Yeah. I lived there in the I lived there in the summertime. From the summer to the, it was really hot. Oh so, yeah, it is really it hot. Fun. Okay, for me, worst <laughs> place, worst place for me, and I hate to say it. I mean, just to live is uh, Kansas. Um, there's okay. nothing to do. Like you're literally out in cornfield, like literally. Um, but mm-hmm. Really amazing people. Farmers are great. Yeah. But I'm the kind of person who has to have a social life. I, I, I love people and I can't be, I'm not the kind of person who can be isolated for too long. Uh, best place to live was Okinawa. Um, I like the fact that I could get to and from the islands. Uh, Japan is amazeballs. If you guys have never been, you should go. Um, California for me is good because I, especially in Sacramento, because I'm like two hours here, two hours there, two hours there. But it's super expensive, so I hate it because of that. Um, I love, I'm going to tell you this much, I do love Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that sounds crazy, Mm -hmm. but I do love Vegas because I'm only three hours from L.A. Because for me, sourcing in Vegas and L.A. are amazeballs. Yep. Yep. Um, And I love the restaurants. I love the entertainment. And again, I love people, and there's a lot of people. Yeah. And I'm all about it. So, um, yeah. Oh, Newark. Is that where Joey's from, Newark? Joey, tell him how beautiful Newark is. So I grew up in the town right next to Newark, and then Newark is where the airport is. If you're going to go into New York City, you usually don't fly into Kennedy or LaGuardia. Sometimes you fly into Newark Airport. Oh, yeah? I'm learning something new here. Newark was... How do I put this... Oh, no. He's going to drop... Is it bad, Joey? No, it's not... Oh. (laughs) <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> you knew what I'll just say you knew where the border was. Oh. And you just okay. knew not to cross it. Oh, okay. Unless oh, you God. really were being adventurous. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> or you really wanted some good soul food, which I love soul oh, food by the way. Okay, so, me too. Oh. Do you so, like yeah, I was, a good one yet? I would venture into Newark for some good soul food. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. The only in the place day, in Jersey I've been is Atlantic City. Okay. All right. That's about three hours south of where I'm from. Yeah. It's, I mean, when we were in D.C., we would either take the train up or drive or Mm -hmm. whatnot. But that was my only experience with there. Yeah. The boardwalk. I was like, best restaurants. Well, I can tell you on the coast, Noxie, best restaurant. Lobster will tell you the same thing. He lives in San Diego and Pismo is not too far. Is there's If you guys love chowder, there's a great place called Splash Cafe. It's a tiny little hole in the wall. And um, it's amaze balls. Pismo Beach uh, Resort area, like it's just like a total surfers town. Mm-hmm. Um, best food, best chowder. I love it. Uh, there's a biker bar that's right across the street from Splash Cafe that have the best ribs in town. Though it's a little sketch when you walk in because you've got Hell's Angels on the right and you've got regular Joe Blow public on the left. <laughs> but the, you know, just as long as you're like you know respectful, everybody's cool. Um, but the Splash Cafe. Chowder is the best, and I love Pismo because that's my kind of speed. But I can't live there because everything shuts down by like five o'clock, yeah. mm-hmm. and I'm like, "What am I supposed to be doing?" Like, I, yeah, yeah I gotta do, I gotta have. Oh, that's the other thing. Jimmy is from Grass Valley, California, so Where's he's. That um, uh, it's up the mountains, like you're going towards like north. Okay. On five. Okay. So he's he's a mountain boy, and I always say like, "Well, you can take the." 
you can take the boy off the mountain, but you can't take the mountain out of the boy. He loves like fishing. He likes quiet time. He's very, this is why it's very, very yin and yang for us because mm -hmm. he likes, he doesn't like a lot of people. I love everybody. Right. And so he's like, Robin, like I walk in a room, like eBay open, he went to eBay open and he literally was like, Oh my God, Robin, you go do all that. Like, I can't, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to go talk to Brian. I'm going to go talk to Harry. I'm, I'm, I can't do all of what you do. Cause the networking is it, like, he's like, I don't have time. I don't have time. He works in a prison system where he's quiet most of the day and just tells him, Hey, inmate, so-and-so get across the wall. He just can't do it. <laughs> he's like, Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. But he likes uh, Vegas because of the entertainment part of it. Cause you know, and Noxie, you're right. Off the strip is awesome. Yeah. I don't do the strip a lot. So my brother is buying a house open. out there right now. Oh, nice. Where's he? He retired from the Air Force. He's on the north end of Vegas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And he's buying a house somewhere around there. I don't know. Um, yeah. One of my friends that retired, um, she lives in Vegas. She kind of, like, retired there. And right. she's like, wow, I kind of call this home now because it's been, uh -huh. you know, 10 years since I've been here. And she loves yeah. Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Can't talk my husband into it for a million dollars. We've kind of, like looked at the map and we're like where's better than call it, where's better than where we're at right now right right, right. Yeah. yeah and we just can't decide like i get you can't it's it's very hard we've actually when you said tennessee we're like we need to go visit but you should been, so we did my first duty station was Vadasta, georgia oh yeah deep south mm -hmm. we yeah, made Georgia's the best friends there like right. when I think of Georgia, I just remember all of the friends that we made and all of the good times that we had. Yeah, they're good people. The southern and then, people are like. You and know. then you remember the bugs, and then you remember the yes. humidity. Yes. <laughs> you remember, and you're like, mm. not so much, not so much. Yeah, yeah. and that's so kind of what's like kept us from exploring Tennessee. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody asked best restaurant on my world travels. You know what? I don't... Oh, you know you what? Tell me your name. I was gonna say you met me at Open. You got to tell me your name. I don't. I don't it's, know. It's in the chat. I am handle... one of the Annette. Is it okay? She's one of the Annette. Oh, Annette. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I'm delayed on this side. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Best restaurant on my world travels. I'll tell you. The only experience Ooh. you said Japan. The only time yeah. I went to Japan, I went on a interview. For a general okay. in Japan, I flew oh, right. from the West right. Coast to Japan for 24 hours. I know it's and a came long home. flight. It's a long, it's a long flight. flight. Wow. Um, I would say, um, really, if you ever get the chance to go to New York, and okay. I got to take a couple of um, they're called pro chef classes at the Culinary Institute of America. In Poughkeepsie, oh, yeah. New York, they have restaurants run by their staff mm. and students. Oh, cool. And that is oh, probably the coolest experience. The best is probably I got to shadow for two or three days in the Union League of Philadelphia. Mm. It's one of the fewer remaining Union Leagues that are there. And you have to be a member to eat there. So when oh, you look up Union League of Philadelphia, like I got to see, yeah. but I like the best food comes from the kitchen that you work from. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, the, the we, people we did one of those um, in St. Helena, up near oh, Napa. It was a, yeah. the Culinary Institute of America <laughs> school. Oh my God, it was yeah. so good. So I was supposed to take my very first culinary class there as a newbie, right? I was like all new. And I get up there and me and one other chef that works at this like resort country club and I'm like all new. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, you guys didn't get the memo. We canceled the class because you were the only two that signed up. <laughs> wow. And they we're forgot like, no, to tell us. No, we obviously didn't get the memo. We're like, um, <laughs> clearly we're here in chef coats, like with backpacks yeah. ready to learn with our knives. And no, we didn't get the memo. <laughs> we sat at that. They fed us and gave us so much wine as an I'm sorry. I love it. On that patio in St. Helena. 
and awesome. I got to pick this chef's brain for like three hours. Yeah, St. Helena is really that's pretty. Crazy. Yeah, I just couldn't live there though. Again, another town that closes at five. Roll up at five o'clock. Yep. Yes, it's ridiculous. I know. But hey, so listen, I got to jump out because my dog is, I can hear her ringing the bells downstairs. She's got to go potty. So um, everybody in the chat, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. You know, yeah, it's uh, how many, we're we're at two Two and and a half half hours. hours. On a Wednesday. That's long for us, you guys. If you guys are looking for something to do after this, Tommy, from our chat, Tommy and Tracy are live now. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. I'm going to post the link over here to go watch them. They're probably working. So they'll do another four hours. So here's the link. I just posted it in there. Go go check them out. Watch them. And tell them we sent yeah. you over if you happen to pop yeah. in their time you came from Ecom. And, and to the uh, mods yeah. in the chat, Noxie and Marie, thank you for hanging yeah, in there. Marie, everybody, thank you so much, guys, for hanging in there. We'll see you guys on Friday at 6. Um, mm-hmm. Bring your coffee, your wine, your soda, your tea, your beer, whatever you want to bring, and have fun. All right, everybody Liz, thank you so much for joining us thank again. Thank you. So Bye, much fun. Liz. And you're, you're welcome so anytime, amazing. of course. So. And uh, I'm going to end the, end the broadcast now, but hang in there for a second. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks, VP.